told you she couldn't breathe. Okay, I told you that. So you need to deal with those consequences now. That's on you. Welcome to episode number 14 of the Marty and Michael podcast, everybody. Holy shit, we've got a jam-packed episode for you right now. We've got Jashan coming on for an interview. We've got Prank Call. We've got Matt's Tinder Adventures. It's all here. All the banger segments, all right? Mm. It's all coming. We've got German or gibberish. But my God, we are have we depression. fucked right now. We have such severe depression because of what happened over the weekend. We had my <gasps> bucks on Friday and Saturday night, a two dayer. And man, I gotta say that like I haven't laughed that much in a two day period for like for so long. That was like that was fucking perfect two days. That yeah. was so much fun. It's worth it, eh? Dude, so much laughter. And man, my God, first night, first day, all right, we went for a hike. A couple of us got high during the... And it's not like a normal hike. It's fucking intense. Usually, you go with like abseil... The people, only people we've ever passed during this hike are people with like abseiling equipment and like rock climbing shoes and shit. And we just go dressed literally like this in costumes, stoned, a couple of us drinking fucking mushrooms and and everything and we go and we climb down these waterfalls and we used to do it in our early 20s but man it is it was hard oh man it was fucking rough and slippery and shit it's the same place me and james got lost yes yeah and the the police rescue had to get us yeah exactly have we told that story eh? have we i don't know well for another time maybe yeah i'm pretty sure we have yeah, so we went there where you walk down this first initial bit, which is like this super steep, leafy, like bush, quite thick bush. Oh, and that's then Michael right. fucking turns around and goes, I've lost the van key. It's oh, gone. Oh, I've lost it. And we've just covered like a kilometer of downhill, steep shit through like dense bushland. And we're like, there's no way we're going to find this. It's, it's like a finding needle, needle in a fucking, in a fucking haystack. Needle in a fucking yeah, haystack yeah. Hunt. All right, so. I had a conversation with Monique's father yeah. at the Bucks and he had quite the theory on the lost van oh. keys. Yeah. yeah. He believes, and it seemed pretty like it could be true, that Michael did this on purpose because he did not want the walk to end. And it seemed like something you would do and you'd get away with it. Because apparently the way you found it was like under a bit of like shrubbery or something. And well, Greg found them. Yeah. yeah. Like that, I could see how it like- It is a good theory. That but it's like, I'd want to get lost there like Hansel yeah. and Gretel shit. Yeah, yeah. I reckon, and, and everyone's with you, so we we can't leave. I don't think he'd risk actually lose. I reckon he'd just lie and say, oh, I've lost the keys and keep them I on keep him them. somewhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, I had to go all the way back up the hill and Greg somehow found them. Yeah, and man and then we just fucking went and it began at some lunch I thought the first day was going to be a bit quiet you know sort of save ourselves for the big Saturday that didn't happen but then we ended up going on dinner then casino and we all won a shitload of money and then we did like a fucking nostalgic pub crawl where we used to go to all the bars that we went to in our early 20s and man they've changed and but we went there and it was fucking fun as fuck hunt <laughs> we had like a stern talk at down under bar <laughs> yeah the like manager came out and I remember him just having this stern and talking to all of us he yeah, made us all gather around he was like alright boys look you guys want to have a good time I want you guys to have fun he kept saying I'm a good cunt I'm a good cunt alright that's <laughs> what he kept saying and then oh. the second he turns his back Henry just fucking dives straight <laughs> on one of the tables and snaps it <laughs> and like, just levels Henry it was, out onto the ground Henry was MVP that night he was so back like it, like back in the old days <laughs> he does not give a fuck and, still, before, and before you've asked guys we have asked him to come on the podcast but I'll it's not really convince him again now. Yeah, like yeah, we should have had a go at him while he was drunk. Oh man, he was such a hero. He yeah. was such a loose so, cannon the so, whole weekend. So Toowoomba, just so fucking Toowoomba. And then, yeah, and then we went to fucking a couple of other places and came home and kicked on. And and then Saturday was the big day, and we just everyone came over and it got real destructive. Oh, Michael's car got absolutely fucking destroyed and we just stayed here and just fucking just got on it and man it was fun and then we did acid later on in the night then there was a power outage during yeah. the mid acid peak yeah. yeah you thought I'd trip the circus I absolutely Michael was, blamed Michael Michael was thing. pissing inside the house so I saw, thought some, somehow he'd pissed on one of the power sockets well he did he pissed on well I found out today he pissed on our robotic vacuum cleaner which was charging on the wall so and, it could have uh, been me. 
And there, yeah, but it wasn't you. Well, wasn't you? Yeah. But yeah. And then you pissed on, it's like you were like, I'm pissing on vacuums now. <laughs> so you went to the handheld vacuum and you pissed on that too. I, I don't, yeah, fuck. Look, so <laughs> I'm sorry, man. get over it. And then, <laughs> also on the, on the destruction path, I'm sitting in my room calmly and I was showing someone some basketball cards. Don't ask why. And, and the, my cupboard was open and he's just gone in and thrown all my stuff out of my cupboard across my room. He apologized for it. Yeah, I genuinely don't remember that one, but like- He fuck. did say sorry. Yeah. So like, so yeah, get, get over get, it. Get over it <laughs> oh man. As yeah, man, said, you, yeah, so you many laughs. Time. We were shooting bows and arrows at shit. It was just like, I don't know, it was just a really funny night. Just we had so a little food war, the pizza. It would have been funny for the pizza delivery person. They showed up and immediately someone grabbed a pizza and, and threw frisbee. it on the roof and they threw it back and- Yeah, we had a, bit of a food fight, man. It was just I like- I fucked Greg. Yeah, Greg. Oh, and I fucked, fucked Kyle Wall. He said, yeah, he didn't really say yes, but I had sex with Connor. Do you remember you kept- asking you're like oh should i like because we had both of our new oh. editors ryan and cooper there oh. as well and you kept asking me like, oh should i like try and sexually assault ryan and you asked our other employee cooper you're like, like no and yeah. he's like no no maybe don't do that <laughs> <laughs> oh they were fuck. both so beautiful though they they <laughs> yeah, they, they mixed well. with the group I really like, well cooper how many toys have you had and he's like yeah about six with a massive smile on his face and they're like over three standard drinks each oh man oh yeah. yeah fucking big night and then sunday just recovered and here we fucking are mm. it's like just takes days now to get over it all yeah it's like i'm still i'm at the lowest i've ever been this is a non-alcoholic beer everyone by the or way or is it man fucking party on the I w- first night was just the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I kept saying. Even though it was like the third day. Oh. I woke up in the morning. Screaming that he loves yeah. the down under bar cunt and then slammed his jug on the ground after he sculled it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ran a muck, man. Yeah. We fucking ran a muck. When we woke up in the morning, um, I went to go to, to my, see my mum for Mother's Day and I was uh, and I tried to talk to Michael and he was like in this weird, like uncontrollable loop of brother. I love, I love like a brother. I love like a brother. And I was like, fuck it. I thought, he, I thought he'd come out of it. And even when I said goodbye, he just didn't break and just kept going. And then suddenly he's just eating burgerings on the couch going, I love you like a brother. I love you like a brother. Something broke in you. I don't know what fucking, it is. I was fucking full tick then. That's and, my tick of the day. And then we rock up this morning, like everyone's feeling so dusty and the place looks like a bomb has just fucking hit it. And then we just call the cleaner and just fucking here we are, cunt. Man, Man what a beautiful, beautiful couple of days though, boys. Wasn't it? <sighs> and heart was like pretty bad on Sunday. It was like like beating very aggressively, but like now I'm all right again. So I think that break of alcohol would definitely helped and I'll be continuing that after my wedding. Because this weekend, it's my birthday, but I'm not doing shit. I'm just going to be lying down in bed. Oh, That's what man. I want, yeah, my birthday. I, I could lie down in bed for three months straight, I reckon. If someone gave me that option, I would do that. Yeah, I could see. Uh, we should do. That's a pretty good video. How long can you stay in bed? It's not really good watching. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just watching two cunts in just bed. doing a story every day. Look, we're still in bed, man. No, but like you're not you have to piss and shit in the bed as well. Okay, I'm in. That would be fun. You know, you oh. cannot leave the bed for anything. Are you I'm guys together? Last week, um we had uh, one of the podcast um fans, his name is Pratty, um, went oh, and yeah. did a special little Oh, we, we spoke about that. this. Yeah, yeah. We spoke about this pr- in previous podcasts. Oh no, we went to talk about it. And I said, no, "We'll cut it. We'll, we'll do it." it <laughs> yeah. So one of our podcast fans went to Thailand to yep. get a tattoo, and he got a fucking huge portrait of the brown. Yeah, um, Connor, I'll send you some pictures of him. You can put it up on the screen now. And this is back. This is back where he, when we had the "Who's the Better Brown" segment, and all he wanted in return is yeah. to be a part of the "Who's a Better Brown" he segment. He just really wanted to be a part. But of we're it. not gonna. We're, we've cut that segment, and we're not. We've like we're ghosting him now. Like, oh, we are not. <laughs> no, we're just joking. We will get him on the podcast, and he will have a shot at "Who's the Better Brown." We're gonna bring that segment back for one round, just because he went out of his way and got a fucking tattoo, and it was no cunt. small tattoo. Like yeah, he like got a meters and meters long. Fucking tattoo, meters me. long. 
Yeah, and what I showed it? it's a picture of my face, and I'm wearing a hat. And anyway, he's put concrete and caviar in the brim of the hat. <laughs> oh wow! Once beautiful. again, you can see the picture there. But I told, I told, I showed it to people. At, you should post it on the fully actual podcast. Yeah, I will. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um. Because um, now, when we're talking about it, people can go to the Instagram. Yeah, and you can go see to Instagram it. and see it. Um. I showed people at Wholesome. The, the tattoo of me I said oh this guy he's a fan of the podcast he went and got my face tattooed on him and they were quite disturbed like like why would he do that and I said I don't know like he just you know he's a like he likes the podcast and and, he, and they're like what's con-? they all go what's concrete and caviar and I was like <laughs> oh well, it's, a, it's a, he came up with it <laughs> that's so yeah, fucked big happen. legend I had a lot of chats with him afterwards and he was telling about telling me about his trip in Thailand. It was good times. Would you fuck him? Would yeah, you I thought about it? Would you kiss him for ten seconds with tongue if he wanted it? Yeah, maybe. Actually, don't say it because you know we could organize it. Yeah, that's true. I'll think about it. You have five seconds to answer. We're gonna go to Thailand together. <laughs> He's moving in. I'd love to see <laughs> that. Imagine if we in. flew him up just for him to. I'd do that. Oh, dude, I'd love to watch it too. Oh, you guys, Pratty, no, Pratty, Pratty, like, if you listen to this, comment <laughs> underneath. If you would make out with Matt for 10 oh. seconds, we'll fly you to Brisbane to be on the podcast if you want to do this. No, I, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I would like to have him up here though. He's second guessing it now. I would like to have him up here. All right, well. You know. Sorry. We got to get some good content out of it, and I think a kiss would be perfect. Mm. No, yeah, just a, warm, a little peck. Wet patch. Mm. No, <laughs> I'm so excited that we have another bucks at the end of the year now. I love bucks now; they're my favorite types of parties after after that Friday and Saturday. Do you reckon you enjoy being the bucks or organizing? The bucks? Well, yeah, organizing obviously would be the shit part, but being there is mm. would is worth it. Mm. So I've only ever been a bucks like a randomly every now and then. Because now, but now we're at that age when we're going to start getting married, except for Matt, and and so there'll be a lots of boxes going around, except for, except for Matt's. We'll have like a fake bucks for you or something. Yeah, every year. James isn't getting married, and Luke isn't getting married. Yeah, but it's so. like it's looking good. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Fuck. Do you reckon Charmy will ever get married? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do reckon any of you bought, apart from you, obviously. All right, fucking let's move on to the fucking sponsors, you dumb pigs. And guess what? Oh, no, the razor. It's gone. Oh, no. I used it to shave my other leg during the band. It wasn't the, here the when bucks. I cleaned either, so maybe someone's taken it during the uh, bucks. No, they stole lot. it, man. Oh, they wouldn't have stole it. They would have just put it somewhere. Oh, they stole it. They fucking it. stole from oh, us, can't. Do you want to grab a couple of those? No, no, no. Nah, fuck that, bro. No, they don't get They don't get it this week. I'm still invoicing them and they don't get a sponsor this week. All right, next segment. <laughs> no, no, no. Have you heard of Athletic Greens, everybody? What? <coughs> wow. It's pretty rude. Sorry. Maybe I'll start that again. <coughs> hey, hey, everybody. Have you heard of Athletic Greens? Yeah, what's that? You haven't heard of it? Oh my god! Well, shut the fuck up and sit down and actually listen to what I'm about to say because this could save your life. Quite frankly, Athletic Greens has 75 vital nutrients ingredients. Look at Michael. I had one this week before. It's literally during the bucks. I would have it before we started drinking heavy. Uh, I would wake up and have it with, and it would dull the hangover. It gives you your body just some vitality and some mm. much needed nutrients that are really easily absorbed. And you can't get it through eating shit. I know you cunts sitting at home and you'll have like f- cycle between four different meals. It's fucking disgusting. Mm. And you go out and get your takeout and you drink all the weekend. Well, mm. guess what? All right, you're gonna you're heading to an early, early death with chronic illness starting at 40, 45. Oh. And I'm not fucking around anymore. Mm. Now I've got your attention. Mm. Buy athletic greens to try and stop that shit from happening. Otherwise, this. <laughs> Buy athletic greens. Oh wow. It smells good. Athletic Greens, bro. Fuck yeah. Athletic Greens slash fully actually get a free travel pack. It's just a monthly subscription and they drop it off at your front door. You have it once a day and you're healthier than 10 bears fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a fact. Mm. All right. Bears. Manscaped. 
Oh, man, scaped. Mm. You sick fuck. We should try a positive one for them this yeah, week. Yeah, let's right. do a nice, right. uh, happy one. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, Manscaped has lots of really prime, great products, okay, mm. that you can look at at their website, manscaped.com. They've got all sorts of grooming shit that will take you from looking like a fucking bag of ungroomed shit. Like a f- from it'll it'll stop you from looking like you're a gutter cunt. Yeah, <laughs> gutter cunt. And turn you into something respectable, something that you won't cringe at when you look at yourself in the mirror. And we have got this discount code, fully actual twenty, that we're going to give you. So you manscaped.com slash fully actual twenty twenty percent off, just like that, just like that twenty percent gone. Isn't that crazy? Boom, done like that. Do we this. did that for you. Do it again. We did that for you. Boom. Just like that. And then you can turn your fucking body into something that's fuckable. And then once you've done that, you can buy their ball wipes because they have that. And after a big day laboring and sweating around, you pull your nuts out of the bus station and give them a wipe with the ball wipes, toss the ball wipes away. The women around you will see that your balls are beautiful, smooth, clean balls. And there you go. You've just been sucked off on the train. Mm. <coughs> or bus. Both. Also for women. Yeah. And yeah. If you're a woman and with rest. tit hair and and like back problems, <laughs> go to Manscaped. If girls have back hair, it's just a problem. <laughs> Back here. <laughs> anyway, that's Manscaped. And of course, our final sponsor, the University of Marco, where we post our weekly most fucked up, best fucking videos in the world. And guess what, everyone? Our new website is live, okay? We're slowly rolling it out. This is one of our first public announcements, but it is live right now. You should, if you're on our email list, have been sent a temporary password and a link to the new website. Once you're in, you can change it to whatever you want. If you are not on our email... <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you, Khan? I don't know. I'm sorry. If you are not on our emailing list, email our support at universityofmichael.com email and they will email you that link, okay? And we're going to slowly move everyone across. Don't worry if you haven't done it yet. Don't stress out and freak out. We're still posting all our new videos on the old website as well until we figure it out for every single person. It's fucking good. You can comment. You can like the videos now. You can scroll. You can search. It's fucking incredible, dude. It's for fun. Fucking good, man. Something to be proud of, bitch. Should I say something? Sign up. Like you get for free nice. now. Like yeah, well, you got you got to watch a video review. today. Can't well, I yeah. did, yeah. Just one. You did, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> fuck. Fucking fuck, man. Fuck that up. Fuck that up, cunt. Fuck that shit up, baby. Fucking turn that yeah, up, Fucking cunt. turn that shit up, bitch. Fucking rise up. I want my ears to bleed, bitch. I ain't stopping today. My no. heart's beating so fast right now. I'll fucking kill myself Pump tonight. Pump up the ox call. You want me to fucking f- myself? I'll fuck myself. Put that mono system down. I'll fuck down. myself till I cry, you bitch. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. It's up time for our first ever supposed <sighs> segment. It's a German och gibberish. German och gibberish. And this is a segment where I read out a sentence and it is either German or it is gibberish. Michael and Matt must vote and whoever gets the most right at the end doesn't get a wooden spoon slogged across their back pussies. Bet you someone stole that too. Two, two, two. Yeah, I do not see it. We'll okay, find well, it. a pinch then. A pinch it is. No, no, not a pinch. That's even worse. A pinch I it is. I will find. I will go get a wooden spoon. <laughs> a pinch. I don't want a pinch. A pinch. <laughs> All right, first German sentence. Here we go. Play along at home, everybody. Let's see how good your German instincts are. Krankenwagen sind gefährlich. Krankenwagen sind gefährlich. Oh, it's so like uneasy on the ears. <laughs> There's well, no way that's it. German. You get used to There's it, no way. Kantenwagen geht es. Kantenwagen sind gefährlich. Oh man, it sounds like Irish. I she always like, Irish, like yeah. kind of like rolls off the tongue. I'm gonna go no. Yeah, I agree with you, Michael. You're both wrong. That is a but, very common German sentence. Is it very common? 
What does it mean? It means ambulances are dangerous. Okay. Oh, wow. Only in Germany, it's like that there. Yeah. Oh, hang on. You're saying Krankenwagen. Krankenwagen up the Yeah, yeah but see, if I, I reckon if I, if you said that a bit more clearly, I would have got that. Krankenwagen. Yeah, fuck, all right. <laughs> I say it as clearly as yeah. any other German cunt. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. that literally translates to is sick wagon. Krank is, is sick and wagon is wagon. And what, what's hospital? It's Krankenhaus? Um, hospital is... Um, Krankenhaus. No. I've forgotten what hospital is. Sorry. Anyway, let's move along. Zoga am Hals der Toten. Zoga am Hals der Toten. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I have to go no as well. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. And that means you're both wrong. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. Shit. That is German. What that is word that? is, that sentence is very German. Fuck. It means suck on the necks of the dead. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. Wait, well, it's you said Halts in there? Sauger am Hals der Toten. Oh, <laughs> you keep your fucking eyes open, cunt. I'm picking up the words, though, at least at the end. I'm right, learning. So you're both on zero. Sentence number three. Mein Handtuch hat Krebs. Mein Handtuch hat Krebs. Oh God, I, I, you give me a headache, man. <laughs> this is my language. Oh. <laughs> this is the first words I was taught as a child. And you're saying that it's hard to hear? Oh fuck. I reckon. Fuck. You're trying to mind fuck me, but I'm gonna go. It is German. <sighs> No, it's not German. It is German, Matt. It means my towel has cancer. Shit. Another very that was common your thing. First word. Yeah, one of the first things you learn. Yeah. <laughs> of course, towels have cancer in Germany. Yeah, just ever since you know the wall came down. <laughs> All right, sentence number four. It's one nil to. <laughs> Stumte Wechseleinheit! Oh God. Stumte Wechseleinheit! Einheit. Stumte Wechsel! Wechsel! Einheit! Um, it's not German. It's not German. It isn't German. You are both correct. Two one to Michael. Final sentence. How's everyone going at home? How are you going? Have you got um, how many out of four? Uh, correct. Uh, leave a comment um, in in the comment section on um, how, how you've you, done. Uh, how you go after this last one? I'm Turn curious. That. Turn it up. Turn it up, everybody. Oh, I hate pinches. Last one. Maxian von gerade weglässt. Oh, fuck off. Matzion von gerade weglässt. Again? Matzion von gerade weglässt. It is German. Again? Just one more time, please. Matzion von gerade weglässt. Oh, it is German. Oh, so you're in a good spot here because you can just say it is. Uh, I win. And I have to go no. Yes, correct, Brown. You lose. All right, it's not German. It is... Not oh, German. Oh, fuck, cunt. Not German at all. Oh, my God. I was going to say it's German. That oh. sounds nothing if like If you had let German. me go first. You say it so well. Yeah, you sound it, like that's what you say every day. The, but I, that's nowhere near German. That's just made up sounds, cunt. And I'm offended that you guys think that that's German. <laughs> I, said, oh. I said no. <laughs> that is nowhere near what my language sounds oh, like, man. I was going to say uh, yes, so though. Really that, what I just, say, yes. the sounds I just made is the sounds, the gurgling sounds of a dying person. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the, the, my, my motherland language. <sighs> to all, <sighs> finale time. You have to pick a number between 60 and 70. All right? Let me get to go first. I no, I yeah, I say the number and then you guys get to pick pick, okay? Between sixty and seventy. Yeah. This is Bait Rock, so you get to go first. Nine on <coughs> Zesh. Yeah. How much? Number is nine on Zesh. Who goes scissors first? Paper scissors wrong. Scissors, paper, rock. Shit. Sixty nine. Yes, he's got it. Matthew wins, Matthew wins, Matthew oh. wins. It's Ray. He wins. Oh, he wins. He wins. He wins. 
No, <laughs> pictures for brown. Oh, that is so good because I did not want to get pinched. Fuck off. Where are you doing it? Mm-hmm. Where's the pinch start? I don't know yet. I want to have a little play with you. Oh, just do it, cunt. <laughs> oh, just a little play. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I fell, dude. Like, that hurt watching it. All right, guys, let's move on to the greatest, most important segment of our time. Hit it, Matt! Matt Michael, it's Matt first Michael, it's Matt first Michael today. <laughs> Bottle of cum. <laughs> and this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head for the glory of the mince bottle right here. Right now, the score stands at nine to four. Matt is right slowly here. caught back up. Right now. And today, right here. the competition right is who's better at giving speeches? Shit. All right. There are six topics you could potentially have, okay? Some of them you know a lot about. Some of them you know a lot about. Some of them you both don't know shit about. We got to make up the speech. <laughs> I like yes, that. for one minute you have to make a speech up. Okay, th- sixty seconds, and we will judge which one is the best. All right. So you have to give me a number between one and six, and then I will tell you your topic. So I've numbered these sub- these subjects. Oh, this is going to be hard because you haven't got time to prepare can your speech. Jishan, That's exactly can right. Can sit in on here? Yeah, Jashan can sit in on this, and you can be a judge with me, please. <sighs> Put his fucking makeup on. So there's going to be six options that we can pick out to do our speech on. I bloody hope well worth the fucking right. mine's golf, mate. Paper, scissors, rock to see who goes first. <laughs> I hope mine's golf. I don't even know that much about golf. All right. Scissors, paper, rock. See who picks first, mate. Scissors, paper, rock. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Scissors, paper, paper rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Boom! You'll be going first, mate. <sighs> Fuck yes. All right, Matt Brown, what is your number between one and six? Six. Number six. The life cycle of a caterpillar. Oh, wow. That's brilliant. That's so The life cycle of a caterpillar. All right. I can't give you any time to prepare, so your time starts in three, two, one. Go, Matt. You have the floor. The life cycle of a caterpillar. I don't even know why caterpillars are born. <laughs> Make something, up, Matt. Come on. 15, 14 seconds gone already. This is shit. Matt, don't. You're doing this thing. You're capitulating. Stop the time for a sec. Matt, hey. I just hey, can't think snap of Snap out of it. Yes, you can. Caterpillar. Just make something up. Make something up. What do they eat? What do they turn into? Okay. How do they How do they okay. start? Come on, so you, know, you can do this. You're one third into your fucking speech, cunt. You've said nothing but the life of a. You got to make. Hey, you got to. Do you mind not speaking? Thank you. I'm you, doing sorry. a speech. Well, no, it's poor. I'm trying to do a speech. speech. You're back. I'm in. trying to do a speech. You're back in. Yeah. In three, two, one, go. Life cycle of a caterpillar. You said that, mate. Can you f- tell him not to that speak during my speech? That's must, a that's a four respect. second penalty. You must respect. At four seconds, it's fucking halfway through <laughs> your time, and you've said the life of a caterpillar. I'm twice. trying to get into rhythm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, Matt. Life cycle of a caterpillar. Butterflies. Butterflies. Come on. He's okay, distracting. You, okay, the story needed up. something to wind it up there. Right? Yeah. Um, born screaming into the world, a caterpillar falls onto a empty leaf. It unfolds and starts chewing away at the leaf and it shits that little black stuff out every now and then and then it dies i guess once it's eaten by a hawk time um so or you're saying just let me be no clear. you can't you can't attack me no no i'm just you saying you can't attack said, me wait saying, till it's your go this is I the life cycle of a fucking caterpillar and you're saying every caterpillar gets eaten by a hawk that's incorrect i'm putting my hand up and saying yeah, that that's incorrect cocoon and then butterfly yeah, i didn't know he doesn't know he thinks they're two separate animals <laughs> doesn't understand no, that i didn't think that i just i just thought he'd die <laughs> okay all right look yeah matt i'm gonna have to give that up i didn't realize i had to make it I had to know exactly what it was. No, no, but you well, just said make something up. So yeah, yeah, that's better up. than nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Connor, can you just cut the <laughs> <laughs> the gibberish? Keep all that. No, what can we do? We have no, to. I keep it if you want. I saw the waste of time. 
Um, what are right. you laughing at? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you wait, wait, right. well, what, judge it out of 10. No, no, we'll, we'll do the judging at the end. But okay. Jashan, put a, score something in your head out of 10 for Matt's uh, <laughs> speech then. I've got my own number as well. Yeah. All right, um, Michael, your topic, your number between one and five. Three. Okay, your topic is on giving birth. Oh, that's so easy. All right, your time starts now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Brookhouse and I will be talking oh, to you about wow. how to give birth and what, what it is today. Okay, so basically back in the old days, the only females could give birth, but now in these new times somehow men can give birth anything can give birth if you decide that you want to give birth you can give birth mm. <laughs> also um there's different ways on how to get birth into you how to get birth <laughs> yeah how to get how to happening. get birth you can have induced labor you can have forced labor and you can have water labor Matthew is giving seconds birth. Left. 15 dick. seconds left. Matthew had water labor because he is part fish. The end. I'm so glad you were here to listen to my speech on progressive birth. I did like that. That had nothing to do with too. time. No, it was good manners. Exactly. I mean, I finished because normally people, like, you have to stop on the. Yeah, fuck. I'm good. All right. Score out of 10, Jashan, for that. Uh, are All we right. starting with Michael? No, we'll, st no, we'll start. start. We'll start with Matt. All right. So I gave Matt a. A three out of ten. Yeah, I was going to say the same. A, th a three, just it lacked any form of. It was just a lot of um, knowledge. Yeah, and a lot of uh, that first half of it just really kind of fucked you yeah. bad. Yeah, you give me it the kind of pissed me off. Ones. Well, Sorry. you kind of picked the number yeah. yourself, so it's not my fault. There was concrete as a topic, so yeah, that wouldn't have been good either. So, all right. So Matt's overall score is six. Now I gave Michael a uh, five out of ten because he did speak well, but. Um, what he said uh, had no just made nothing. At least, at least half of mine was correct. Why would you give that a five? Hey man, I'm just going with the times. Hey, I spoke times well are. as well. It just, it just, it's just mine wasn't that good. I'm just going. You with made them. you just didn't even speak about the birth. Hey man, you just other spoke people would labor. say they would you say otherwise. Hang on. You spoke about labor. <laughs> the yeah. labor is not the birth. Labor is like, I'm, can you back me up here? You've had a child. Yep. Labor is the part where you're like, it's coming. It's not the actual birth. Labor leads no, to that's giving what, birth. That's what it leads Yeah, but that's to. all you spoke about. You didn't even talk about the birth. Oh, I, I took you didn't about the splitting and the thing that pops in the middle. Oh, Jesus. The hymen. What pops? No, the hymen pops when you sclilili. <laughs> you know all about that, yeah. bro. I feel I got fucked over again in this competition. Right, right, so yeah, I yeah. You didn't acknowledge a butterfly, though. Uh, yeah, I yeah. You, the, you, the, you the, I was the, trying to the get there, but I ran out of time, so I went with a no, death, you didn't, death by hall. You didn't try to get there. You killed right off the cannon really really before really you could did. get there. I even have I had a conclusion. I had I realized I didn't get there. I had structure. I had structure in mind. I don't know. All you said was labor, 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 and we all can right, have look, birth. Look, we can go around in circles here all day at the end of the day. Jashan and ripped. I are the judges. Jashan, what do you give Michael? I, I give Michael a six. Oh, yeah, I gave him oh, a five. So just to hit. 11 to six. It was, a, it was he nearly doubled your score. Okay. And mm. you, you guys chose the numbers. You got to pick first. It's no one else's fault. Um, well it's done, Michael. 10 4. He extends the lead. It is now 10 4. That's horrible. I'm over double you. That's crazy. I'm double digits now. All right, we're going to have a big old bong break and we're going to come back and we're going to interview the fuck out of Jashan Khan. Bong break! And we're back with the oldest, second oldest, second oldest Prasad brother of the entire Prasad family. There's four of them. This is the second one. And here he is on our couch. You know him from the Shami videos. It's Jashan Prasad. Thanks, boys. I'm a bit nervous to sit here, actually. Eh? Yeah, people what? say that. It's a little nerve-wracking, and oh, I get just, it. 
the last time I was in this room, it got, it got <laughs> real interesting. A few days ago, the box yeah. got weird. I'm glad I'm over here. I, I'd hate to it's be there. It's there, though. That it's, thing there. Because Jishan, he's pointing right now to the Matt's bottle of oh. mint. <sighs> and during the box, some wild shit happened in here. And Michael nearly got convinced to skull it. And he had it to his lips. I think a bit splashed on your lips. Yeah, There was definitely. fucking, like, I remember... The, he little Michael was trying to convince me to open up my asshole. <laughs> pour a little bit in. You're considering that too. Yeah, right? he was so convincing. Yeah, I was like that's not a and bad idea. And my future father-in-law was standing in for that conversation, <laughs> filming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was he? Getting he anymore? was filming it, just laughing. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh man. Sometimes I worry, you know. The smell of it, though. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So we right. open it up, and, and Austin threw up. Austin. <laughs> Really struggled with that smell, and and I just saw his mouth fill up, and then he ran out the room. And there's oh, people really? all around. He, there's like twenty people in here. Yeah. He, was, he was standing about here. His mouth just goes, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, someone's coughing in here. But no, he he managed to squeeze it th- his way through the crowd. Oh, and, uh, he just vomited oh, so straight yeah. up. He was throwing up in the toilet because of that. That's so funny. It would have been amazing if he just exploded in vomit yeah. through the room. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's got a weak stomach though. Once he needs oh. to go. You've got seconds before it's too late. Like. Oh man, yeah. So, oh. so what are you doing with yourself these days, Jishan? If we've seen you all over social media, you and you and Cass have started a page, which I see all the time. That's going pretty bloody well. Yeah. So yeah. what do you? So what do you do? What's like a a week in the life of Jishan like at the moment? A week in the life. Well, we got the a little girl as well. She's two years old now. Yeah, that's so right. That, that takes up. A She's lot already of two time. years old. She's Holy already shit. Two. I thought she was only just born. That's how fast time goes. Do you yeah. love it? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I love it a bit. She's she's unreal. Is it what they say? It is like you're a bit like, oh fuck yeah, okay, we'll have a kid, and then you have a kid, and it's like really, really good, better than you expected. Yeah, or is it, yeah. Is it if you think it's going to be shit, it is shit. <laughs> uh, no, it is. I don't know who they are that says that, but uh, it is that. Like beforehand, I was just like, I used to watch other kids. I'm like, am I really going to be able to love yeah. a kid? And even when she was pregnant, like it's, it was still like I'm scared. What if what if, she, what, what if it doesn't love me? And what if yeah. I don't love it? But as but yeah, then then you have the actual bond a, a terrible like, twos. Okay, that's thing. good. That's reassuring. It's like does she does funny like but like psychotic things? Yeah, she's she's a she's ahead of her days. Eh? Like she's so smart, and she's getting to the point where she's really trying to test us, and just like she knows when something's wrong, but she'll she'll test it. And then just see our reaction and just throw the tantrum anyway, just because yeah. even, even, mm. even if she knows she's not getting A proper away. presage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so what else are you doing? What else are you dad now? What, what else is going on yeah, work-wise? Dad laughing it and then um, <coughs> still still go to Shams, help him out a few days a week, yeah. um, filming and editing his stuff. And yeah, and then we do our own content and that's pretty much it. Eh? So you primarily you your, your own content creator now? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, uh, and where would people see you shit? Is it mostly on Facebook? Mainly on Facebook, yeah. And everything gets uploaded to YouTube as well. Um, so what's your what's your page on Facebook? It's just my name. Just Jashan. Jashan, yeah. Okay. Josh, so Jashan is not how you say your name. Yeah, oh, I started you've been that wrong forever. Yeah. Oh, I think that. He led us astray. And also, uh, we used to say Shammy as well. And it's Shami. And, oh, fuck. Um, and I used to call Jaden um, fuck cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's wrong too. Yeah, well, I call Kalish... Kalish. <laughs> but it's Kalash. Yeah, it's Kalash. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. We've been we, saying we all of your names, names wrong. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. To, be, to be fair, oh though. Oh my God. I sort of notice when people get my name right. Like, I'd say most people say my name wrong. My wife says my name wrong. Yeah. She says it wrong. Oh, okay. Well, ma- well maybe, not well, maybe fuck yeah. you, maybe you're fucking wrong. Have you ever considered <laughs> that? Yeah, maybe, maybe it is uh, me. If everyone else is saying it right. Maybe yeah, it's name, me. Yeah. You, you can be Josh from now on. <laughs> jo- just, uh, I've Josh got people saying Josh, Josh Han. Like separating the S and the H. Oh, yeah. I'm that like, would when, be- when the fuck do you ever <laughs> separate an SH like, separately? Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, wow. fuck. All right, well. You started as a wedding photographer is that right yeah yeah that was your career before yeah so photography um started in skating photography and that turned into wedding photography and then that sort of flowed into social media so and shooting your wedding yeah yeah so my wedding's in two weeks and jishan is doing that for us (laughs) (laughs) josh (laughs) joshin is doing that for us and you're doing my you're doing michael's as well 
Uh, no, I'm no. Still, I think I'm his. I think your wedding's the test. I haven't been asked yet, so I, I presumed he's just seeing how I. I will. Yeah, I, I went off true. like your vibe because you don't do it really anymore. Hey, it's just no. yeah. I got a vibe like you. You're doing a favor, and it's like you know you 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 don't really. I do. Not- I do it sort of word of mouth now, and if it's like mate, if it's a wedding I want to do, and it's like I don't put myself out there. I don't market it. Um, I do still get word of mouth from previous clients. And if it's a wedding that excites me, then I'll take it on. But for for mates, for mate, for you, it wasn't. It was no guessing about it. Well, thank you very I much. I think it's mate. a good Straight choice guess. because you find that when you have a wedding photographer that you don't know, everyone sort of stands and you know, like try and make it very candid. While when you're there, you'll probably know everyone, so you make everyone laugh and be themselves a bit more. Yeah, yeah. And especially actually, with your new hair, Matthew Brown. You, he studied photography. Did you? Yeah, she got top of his class. Are I, you going to the wedding? No, I didn't. But, uh, yeah. Oh, sick. I think so. Yeah. Am I going to the wedding? <laughs> yeah. So he's going to be one of the ushers. Usher. Yeah. Like the performer. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant he was wrong. Yeah, flowers. I thought, yeah, yeah. What I thought he meant anyway, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, Flower boy. So what's it like being a pres- growing up with three brothers like that? Like obviously they are how they are now. What was it like growing up with them? I don't know. It was pretty... Normal? Normal, like, yeah. yeah. I, I, Were they like troublemakers at school? Yeah and no. I don't know. I feel like we had a pretty normal... Um, I feel like we were a lot closer than a lot of other brothers. Actually, I feel like we got a lot closer, especially as we got older. Um, yeah. In, in My older brother was probably the more like typical... Loose bad, cunt. Yeah, bad. Just like bad. Oh, just really? wanted to do everything wrong. <laughs> and then I, I was I was a pretty good kid, eh? Yeah. I've, I've always been a bit more mature than the rest of the boys. Sham <laughs> <laughs> was always the little shit. He was like the, he, he was you know the the get the underage ID kind of guy, and, yeah, then, okay. and JJ was the mum mama's boy. He's always been mummy's yeah, boy. I can't yeah. really I can see him. He being still calls mum. He, he still calls mum mummy. Oh, still yuck. calls mum mummy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey mummy. <laughs> uh, and and what's fucking? What was he like? Was he was he like the popular hot kid at school, or was yeah. he just like? It, why the fuck did he end up hot? It's so annoying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, just, fucking hell. He's like, a good looking bloke. You're not supposed man. to say your siblings are hot, are you? But like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Weird. yeah. yeah. <laughs> did they? What was the most embarrassing thing you've seen him do? Yeah, yeah. Give us any yeah, like an a childhood embarrassing story. childhood story. Oh, here we go. Was Sham? Sham was like he, he was a lick, <laughs> uh, a brick licker. He used to just have a fetish with like how old are we bricks. talking here like 15 16 oh from 5 to 15 oh, okay good <laughs> yeah off to but 15 really I'd say so <laughs> to 15 maybe not but I'd say what, so like privately <laughs> he'd lick bricks so. he just like a brick house he would love it you know how people like get a, the texture. a book and like want to smell a new book oh. or leather and they just want to smell it Sean would see a brick house and be like Oh, I need to lick that and taste today. Like he, he just wow. loved the taste of it. It was oh weird. God. Holy shit! <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. It's like people that eat like drywall or like strange addictions. They've just like that's their. Do thing. people eat drywall? Yeah, some yeah. person yeah. on some show. Yeah, some. No, they don't bricks actually. Just wow, love. there you go. That's fucking. So we used crazy. to just get him bricks for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was the happiest guy ever. Yeah, <laughs> just sucking bricks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, didn't, he did trade before he got into videos. Yeah, he was like a landscaper. That's probably and- why he went into fucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went- <laughs> just licking them before he fucking <laughs> bricks them in the house. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about Jaden? What was, were any embarrassing shit from him? Surely he did some fucked shit as a kid. Fucking, he said. I had a story before. I've gone co- completely blank. Which one was it? All right, there was this one time. He would have been real young. I'd say. Oh under 10 at this stage and there's an eight year difference between me and him so decent decent um difference there but one day he was just real shitty he must have got in trouble or something and he was just like walking around the house you, you know what shitty jj looks like just like <laughs> just angry just <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway um yeah he, he was just storming around the house and he was heading towards the back door which is where our rubbish bin was and i was i was legit just going to the rubbish bin and i think i must have just like stirred him up a bit earlier as well so he was already pissed off at me as well but i'm behind him going to the rubbish bin he just presumed that i was following him to piss him off so he just turns around straight clobbers me in the mouth busts oh. my lip and oh, <laughs> holy fuck yeah. 10 year old and you were 18 no no so jj would have been younger he would have been like maybe seven or eight or something and i was like early teens i guess yeah um and yeah he's just like busted my lip and then um (laughs) i've just like pushed him into the door but 
as I've pushed him into the door, my older brother just happens to be walking past and that's the only thing he sees, me pushing my little brother into the door. <laughs> so then he <laughs> runs in, starts laying into me. JJ's Charmy's just in the me. background <laughs> licking walls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, I just got beat the fuck out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? For going to put something in the bin and, yeah. So, JJ. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so JD's a feisty little boy. <laughs> yeah, he loves fights, eh? Does no. he really? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Did you, did you guys ever get into any brawls and shit? Kailash wanted to start a fight every week, basically. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he, he, he was. He it's was so like, funny because <laughs> knowing you guys and having Bendron with you guys, like he seems like very like calm now. You know, obviously. Oh, I get a good. Oh, he he broke his he broke his hand or wrist or something, That's punching right. me in the face once. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> we really? were at my know, auntie's house, and he punched house. a wall on a bender once and broke his hand. I yeah, swear. he's had a few broken hands. <laughs> he needs to fix his technique. He's punching. But um, what happened? We were at my auntie's house, and we were fighting over who was sleeping on the couch. There was a comfy couch there, mm. and everyone always wanted that couch to sleep on. So I must have, I must have just got my cushion early and got in on there, and um, and he wasn't happy about it, and he he, he came in. And end up trying to swing at me. <laughs> and I've just Jesus like I've just Christ. turned myself in a way where it would, turned out to be defensive. <laughs> he just landed it, and he fully broke his hand on wow. wherever. He, uh, I'm pretty sure it was like on my head somewhere. Oh my yeah. god! So you guys fully used to punch each other in the face. Not crazy, but yeah, like like a JJ, JJ and Kailash. Yeah, had a few. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's so fucking yeah. funny. But no more, no more than other brothers. Like I feel like all brothers do. It wasn't yeah, abnormal. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like it was and a, you guys a normal all, brotherly. And control. you guys all get along now, so I can't oh, that fun. Yeah, I'd say us as siblings are closer than a lot of siblings out there. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. You just watch other people sometimes, and they always say, "Oh, um, yeah, I haven't spoken to my brother or sister in this many years." It's like, really? Wow. Like. We actually have. We, it's pretty cool. We have a mad bond. Us. Yeah, and you guys so. all like work together and shit. Yeah, too. yeah. And we see we see each other literally every few days. Um, yeah. Us boys. So yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, it's fuck a, it's yeah. It's a good bond, us boys. And Jay played soccer. Shami, what what sport did Skateboard, you play? Right? What sport? Yeah, Shami was skating. What we, was, did we you play all, any sport? Um, we all played soccer young. Yeah, um, okay. And but yeah, JJ sort of just got really good at it. Yeah. Right. And so he was the. He yeah. was the freak. Well, Kailash turned 18 and he just, well, he probably turned 14 and went straight to partying. <laughs> um, me, I think I stopped playing when I got into skating. Sk skating sort of took over everything for us boys. So we oh, all. Oh, you skated too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember the in the other vlog, you broke your yeah, fucking leg yeah, or something. Yeah, my you, knee. Didn't you break your foot or knee? That's my right. My knee just yeah. busted like everything in my knee. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> and then, and then so, yeah, so. You could did so Shami was a labourer. What were you doing, like straight out of high school? Uh, what was I doing? I think I was just floating around random jobs at that stage. I moved. I moved to Sydney for a while, and it's like screen printing and yeah, I don't know. Just at the stage, working any old job. Like um, worked in a restaurant for a bit, did some screen printing for a bit, um, did some landscaping for a bit with Sham. I think like two weeks, and then yeah. it was Christmas holidays, and then I just didn't get a shift after the holidays came back. So I yeah. obviously didn't make a good. Good tradie. Yeah, good tradie. And then what did you... And then Shami was like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to start filming myself fucking with my mates. Like, what, how did that all unfold and what did you think of it? What happened? I think, um, I think it started when it was his birthday and we, we got him a video camera for his birthday. When how he, old was he? Oh, it, it, it might have been... I don't know, maybe it was like 17, 18. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, sort of later. Because this is still in like the big Canton phones yeah, have cameras yeah. and shit back then mm. it was like the big camcorder days and we get we got him a um a, a video camera for his birthday and then i think that's probably what sparked it for him he, he could um have his own his own one where he could do his own stuff because we used to have like a family video camera where it would take but he he wanted his own just to go do stupid shit and would take it for the day and yeah that, it sort of just started him making stupid videos i think and yeah w one of them Happened to just take off on his personal profile and then he turned it into a page and yeah. And then boom. Yeah. As he went. Because I remember early on when we first saw some Xiaomi videos, I think even before Jackson, it was he was with that, he was doing videos with that girl, right? Is that what was that the first ones that he was doing or was, was he doing a different kind before then? Uh, he did have some videos before that. Um, yeah. But yeah, when he, I think when he um, 
started getting a little bit of traction then i think she she became a part of it and stuff yeah. and then um then it was on to jackson and then yeah it sort of just now kept all flowing the boys from there, fucking yeah. hell mm. Yeah, that's gotten crazy. Hey, so when did so, you start? When did you get into this? We, was real late. Time, like we, we always like. I remember even just filming shit in high school. Same thing with cameras, like with with Henry and stuff. But like never learning how to edit or anything. But some really weird old sketches and shit that we thought were hilarious. And but then didn't touch anything until like fucking twenty five when um, just a couple of mates started like a production company and wanted us to make some content for him so we just went yeah, out and started nice. filming ourselves fucking with people and just loved it and then fucking yeah branched off on our own and here we then are then shit just what? got weird 2018 <laughs> yeah. Think, yeah is when we started Marty and Michael 2018 yeah the beginning of 2018 we started that page yeah but we were filming five years ago but we were filming it's crazy well, no, we were happened, filming though. for like four years before yeah that. yeah yeah but like and getting nowhere just fucking th- hurting ourselves and doing it all done that videos just became more and more desperate the the, the poorer <laughs> we got and now you're saving fucking uh, yeah, bottles of cum exactly <laughs> it's getting dark yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse what's happening with that thing how what's the end so well matt there's a segment called matt versus michael and who Whoever mm. wins that segment the most by the end of the season gets to keep that bottle of mints and do with it whatever they will. Oh, so and I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's going to be maybe a mince shower at the finale. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And then here's Ma- <laughs> this is where um, people are sending in their pubic hair. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hey, I'm not into this bit. <laughs> and you've got hair now, so you don't need to worry about this. But, yeah, what do you think? But we're thinking about yeah, gluing it all to uh, Matt's skull and giving him a brand new hair as well. You should. <sighs> can you like do it like the actual hair transplant, but take that into the place and like, oh, actually hair transplant? So the pubic hair Multiple into your head. People's and you'd, ha- you'd end up with like imagine a like, or dude, imagine Leah letting it grow because some of it's like leg hair, some of it's head hair, some of it's pubic hair. It would be this beautiful like fucked up garden of hair. <laughs> Dude? No. Please. <laughs> Come on, Matt. I'll well, just consider it. I'll, think, think, about it. I'll think about it. Thank How you. long does a hair transport take to happen? Transport? Transport. <laughs> Within hours. They do it in the day, a oh, day or two. Did Austin, cause Austin, we saw Austin on Saturday as well. Mm. His hair's starting to look really good now. Yeah, it seems good. like it took ages to grow to that though, right? Is that? Yeah, like, I think it's a process of like working its way in yeah I but think now it just looks like he's got normal fucking hair it's unbelievable yeah, yeah I think it's it been like brilliant. six months do they months. do they cut a strip from the back of your head and bring it to the front is that how they it, do it they basically it's like a little drill kind of thing and they like basically just cut out a circle with skin still attached and then they put a hole in the back of your head and put that whole piece Jesus Christ that sounds pa- and are you asleep like thousand, no they give you like Valium. Pain, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Some Valium. sort of painkillers, but yeah, I don't well, know. So they literally cut from here and put into here. Yeah. And then this oh. bit still grows again, the bit yeah. they cut from. Would you get one, Matt? I don't know. I've, I've really thought about it. I even looked it up once, but I just don't know. Would you get a partial one? Would no, you yeah, a little, you'd ask me that. A tennis I'm ball shaped. Are you starting to receive that, yeah? Oh, I'm definitely gone. Show yeah. Jashan. What happens if you grow you your hair? With? Does it still come out or is it just like gone, gone? Yeah, mine, mine's just patchy. It's real thin. Right. Yeah, so mine's, mine's it, quite thin now. Yeah, if I let it grow out, it, it's like real thick at the back, and then it just like slowly grow. It, if I grew it out, it would be like a patchy version of this, like thick at the back, proper mullet, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then yeah, just yeah, shitty yeah, yeah. at the front. <laughs> I really want to, I really want Matt to do it because yeah, his would be the same. It'd be well, mine's barely thick all the right around the back, but then yeah, the very front, it's so. Thick I can't believe out. some old men grow do do that. They just grow that thick strip at the back and then have <laughs> a Mr. ball Burns. on top. Like, the, like how does that look fucking like Mr. good? Mr. Burns style. Yeah. I swear a lot of serial killers seem to do that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Man. Sorry. 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 So what's the plan with it all, Jashan? What do you want? Justin, sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow. That felt weird, eh? That actually feels weird Justin. hearing it like that. What yeah. do you want to like well, like what do you want to do? Do you do you want to continue down the social media path? Do you want to fucking you know, have start your own line of um perfumes maybe? Perfumes could be nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've thought about I'll that. Just start saving start dripping sweat into a bottle and just yeah, we're gonna years do piss. I might get enough. Yeah. Yeah. Piss and cum. <laughs> <laughs> and call it pum. Yeah. No, I don't know though. Um, I feel like for a while, yeah, um, just doing social media and sort of just 
trying to build a good audience behind that and then yeah uh, i'd like to start some more businesses again one day off the back of that and be able to create something a bit more passive yeah um, that can continue going and yeah a lot of investing want to invest into some property and just other investments and stuff and yeah you guys are also entrepreneurial the all the prasad aren't you it's like it, like yeah. Jaden's doing he's the, the started the food shit now. now that's yeah. going really well eh yeah so that's, that's just a, yeah it's exploded. only what, a couple of it's only like a month oh, old a month six yeah. weeks old and yeah it's sort of Growing very quick, which is good. So the macro yeah. took a hold back and then now Fork and Easy taking over. Yeah, well, macro is pretty much local only. So it's very hard to, because um, it's uh, fresh food and it's very hard to get that too far away. So that's literally mm, just okay. uh, sunny, coast, sunny coast to Gold Coast, basically. Yeah. yeah. And um, But Fork and Easy is able to be expanded Australia-wide. So yeah, okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much down the whole East Coast at the moment, I think, mm. most places. So yeah. It's a uh, yeah. It's a it's a big. I'm proud of JJ. He's, he's a big big leap for him. And he it's a yeah. How old is JJ now? He's only like fucking eighteen, nineteen, or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Twenty. I think 20. he's twenty later this month. Yeah. Okay. Man, yeah. I still remember his twenty first. <laughs> like it was yeah. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where was his twenty first? Okay. It was at some apartment in the city, and we got fucking that's written right. off. That's right. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that was early on still. There was a lot of destruction that night too. Yeah, mm. remember Cam? Yeah, was yeah, there everything night? got broken. and Yeah, yeah, man, we've had some loose nights. Like the fucking bucks on the weekend, man, that was fun. <laughs> you guys, oh, man. yeah, man, that was so fun. Oh, it's Ooh. such patchy memories. I just have little, little bits and pieces, but I'm, I'm glad the house survived. Yeah, like I think we sort of based all the hate onto my car. Yeah, well, I, we sort of arrived mid uh, mid destroying your car. <laughs> <laughs> so we get out of the car and we just hear. <laughs> the fuck are we walking into right now? I'm glad I parked my car further back. And then Austin, I think within the hour, had shit on it. Oh, yeah, it's been thrown under. He, yeah, it was Austin. That just yeah, there. he showed us a video <laughs> of him doing it. Oh man! I filmed that video. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh fuck! Hell. Yeah, well, I guess you drove home, so you would have had a level head about it. But no, you had heaps of cabs. He dr drug drive home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, did you enjoy yourself? It was good. I was sober the entire time. Yeah, well, yeah I didn't crazy. tell anyone. But the beers I was drinking, there was zero. Oh, I think you oh, left. I really found left some here. I'm like, I'm yeah. not going to tell anyone. I'm just going to rock up, pretend I'm blind. That's probably the <laughs> easiest thing to do. Eh? So I walk in, cracked a beer over, like, yeah, boy. Like, <laughs> little pinky covering the zero label. I, I literally found those bills. I was like, who was drinking zero <laughs> alcohol? I tried to figure it out. I was like, somebody was. I, I it. nailed it. Yeah, got through the whole <laughs> night, and everyone thought. And then it was time. I was like, oh, are you right to drive? I'm like, yeah, I haven't been drinking for a little bit now. So. <laughs> That should be sweet, but no, no, I'm staying off the drinks for a little bit at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Trying to be good. Yeah. Yeah. I just recently came off a hundred days of nothing. hundred days. How'd you find it? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very, um, sleep improved and just the money you save as well. Yeah. And f yeah, many, many benefits. So after this month, cause I'm next, this weekend's birthday, but I'm not going to touch nothing. And then the weekend after is the wedding, which obviously will be a big fucking party again. And then I'm just going to go off it again. Mm. Yeah, just see what happens. Just it, try and stay off it yeah, as much as possible. The is not worth it. Yeah, like, yeah. it'll be like this now mm. for fucking three days. Like, our content will be shared. Like if death wasn't so painful, I'd fucking do it, man. <laughs> yeah, or just yeah, it's hard to do. Just kill yourself cleanly, painlessly. <laughs> like, it is fucking. Well, rough. Like you said the other day, life's too long sometimes. Yeah, it goes for ages. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ever since I can remember, it's just been life. Yeah. yeah. Stop! Exactly. This is so dark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, I tell you what, fucking dad, eh? <clears throat> now, has Michael worn that in front of you before? Do you have any memories of him? Because I have a memory of having to drive to Actually, the Gold Coast. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I've seen it before. To Shami's and pick him, and he came out in that. Oh, that used to be at Shami's. Mm. You stole that from Shami's. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I remember this thing now. <laughs> What was that used for originally? I can't even remember. He probably uh, pissed in it. Yeah, he pissed, pissed in it. That's why I think had it. So I had no like clothes to get home, and Matt picked me up. I think. <laughs> so I came out and I just found this and took it. It's one of those typical mornings at Charm's old place, waking up, looking out the window, and just seeing Michael. 
doing like the walk of shame with his mattress <laughs> putting it out in the sun. It's like, fuck, he's done it again. Yeah, and Kalar's that one morning. He, he oh, woke I'd up pissed next like, to him. Pissed next to him. And All he, over he just him. wakes up. He's like, Fuck, this cunt sweats a lot, eh? <laughs> no idea, you just pissed all over me. Oh, no. Man, oh, those oh. fucking parties at Shami's, those New Year's Eve ones, God, they were fun, eh? I oh, miss man. that house. There was a lot. That, that house. Yeah, it wouldn't just be like, it would be a pre New Year's and then a post New Year's. So it'd go for like four days. Yeah. And then the Australia Day one, usually as well, not long oh. after. But yeah, man, those New Year's Eve benders were so fun. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, people walking <laughs> around with fistfuls of MD, just like. <laughs> You have this. Oh, man. It yeah. got wild. Yeah, and that morning it. I woke up and I couldn't piss because I'd had too much. <laughs> just literally need to piss so badly, but I couldn't. That yeah. nerve was just too fried. You I couldn't relax. It. <laughs> I still have a memory of like one of the New Year's parties at Shami's and you are just that day because we had a pre-party. So as people are trying to start to rock up, you've slowly ripped all your clothes off and you've cut your undies. So it's just sort of. Your balls would pop out, your dick would pop out every now and every then. Every step I took, yeah. a ball would hang out and then it'd disappear with my next step. <laughs> ball out, disappear, ball out, disappear. And I just remember being so fucking just seeing like all these like people who'd never met it because we'd only just come onto the scene. And all these people who didn't know who we were just kind of looking over at me so we disgusted. Were, yeah, they just, thought we were scum. Oh, we were such a scum cunt. We fucking and we were. are. We are. <laughs> You're pissing all through the house during the box. <laughs> Or pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just remember having this vision of like at the front door, and it was just me there, and I was hoping someone would just walk past to like. So it's like I'm trying to hide it, and Luke walks past as I'm like mid pierce at the front door, and I was like, "This is too good to just not just to stay there." I had to keep doing it, and every five minutes I needed to piss. Yeah, so yeah, why not just piss, piss someone every in Fuck is such a piss up. All the mm. door entry, all the entries. I saw you get up. I'm like, oh, sweet, he's going to start pissing outside. And he just stopped at the back door and pissed at the back door. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? So it's funnier if you like, you could just take one more step and it would be outside. But <sighs> like, that's what I liked about it. You wouldn't recognize this house from the other day. I walked yeah. in today. I was like, there's furniture here and shit as well. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. just, yeah, it's completely different. Yeah, we got different a cleaner in also. immediately today so when yeah. we rocked up. And, oh. But yeah, it was it was a rough fucking morning that next morning. <laughs> still rough, man. Fuck yeah, that, so even dude. though I had a good like eight hours sleep, I'm still just like, I could have slept all day today. I have no more dopamine. Yeah, it's all gone. It's like, I don't think it's ever going to come back. <laughs> we, what you <laughs> do is you, the last you borrow the happiness from the future. And now you have to be depressed until it looks back to balance. See? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, so anyway. It's a fucking right shame right now. I fucking joking. Yeah, I don't know if the acid helps. Yeah, I stayed away from that. I don't think that. I don't think that. I always have a come down on acid too. Pardon? I always have a come down on acid too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fuck, dude. If you had to. Um, I always have a come down on acid too. Yeah? Really? No, I've never done acid. Oh, wow. Mm. Tell Would me you ever almost... do it with us? What was that? Would you ever do it with us? Maybe, yeah. Should we do it now? We should, and we could like vlog it. Mm. <laughs> like just set a camera up. Although you get really like Well, what? It's a psychedelic, eh? Yeah, and, and usually yeah, I love mushrooms, so... Yeah, so... Oh, if you've done mushrooms, that's similar. Yeah. Acid's just very, a lot more visual. Yeah, okay. I'd probably just like, like it then. Yeah. Just looked up at the sky and it just looked out like they were shooting stars everywhere. I like doing mushrooms while like not drinking or anything though. I like, yeah, I like yeah, doing yeah. it in a non-party environment. As soon as we st I did acid and the acid kicked in, I stopped drinking and stopped doing everything else and just mm. started drinking water. You think that would have helped with the fucking come down, hey? Yeah, well, I think it did. I was had zero like hangover on Sunday. It was just depression <laughs> and, yeah. and tiredness. So, but no hangover. Like usually I'm like real sick and headache and just fucking vomiting blood and like shitting stuff out and just f like screaming and like real pale and shit and mm. eyes are all fucking fluttering and shit can't stand it yeah yeah but no it wasn't too bad but anyway just showing alright last question mm. fuck marry kill oh wow I know who we doing me Matt and Michael oh what oh, about oh, no oh. let's go Kalash Jashan yeah. oh, 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 I don't know if I can do that <laughs> Can we stick it to you three? <laughs> 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 Alright, you can do us too. Yeah, I'll do you three. I'd feel very <laughs> weird doing it to my brother's No, oh, I'd definitely fuck Jay. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, because I'd have to say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, all right. Fuck, fuck, marry and kill. <sighs> I'm quite nervous. <laughs> yeah, Matt's avoiding eye contact. I'd, uh, I'll start with kill. I think I'm killing Michael <laughs> eh? because, like, I piss too much. Yeah. See, if I fuck or marry, like, regardless, I'm gonna have to fuck you, and I just don't want to fuck you. Yeah, some dirtiness. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> it's so funny. All the boys have seen Michael at his sickest, so it's always yeah. hard to forget some of the things that he's done. <laughs> and uh, maybe, maybe fuck Matt. Mm. Mm. I reckon really. <laughs> marry, uh, marry Marty. Thank uh, you. He'd just, just be a nice yeah, guy like, to settle I feel down. Like we'd with, be you know? a good. Yeah, we'd make a good you relationship. You guys should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should settle down. Okay. Yeah. Should we settle down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot yeah. me a text after. <laughs> 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 Well, you're going to be at my wedding. So when the priest says, um, um, does anyone want to, like, what do they say again? They're like, um, well, they don't actually say it, but in the movies they say, um, speak uh, now or, or forever, forever, hold your, your peace. peace. You stand up with a camera. You say, no, yeah. <laughs> we belong together. I've seen too much. I've seen too much. Man, imagine just for like as a prank video and you post it on your page. Oh. Ru ruining Marty's wedding. Oh. Oh. It's a great title. <laughs> I will think about it. It is a great title. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, think about it. Think about I it. I forgot to charge my camera. <laughs> <laughs> or just takes terrible photos. Yeah, yeah, man. Just all selfies. Yeah. They're, all, yeah. they're all selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's blurry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much anyway, for coming on, buddy. And next um, weekend. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, yeah. We'll man, see you in a week shit. and we'll do Is it, it all next again. weekend. Well, not this it, Saturday. Like oh, this Saturday. weekend. And yeah. Yeah, but like Sorry. as people are hearing this, it's in six days of people hearing this. Yeah, shit. wow. That's yeah, fucked, crazy. Man, eh? No, yeah, you why haven't are you getting your vows yet, have you? Nah, we'll <laughs> have you written your vows yet? <laughs> no. Are you no. writing your own vows? Yeah. Have you tried your suit on? Are, are you not meant yeah. to write your own vows? Oh, yeah, a lot of people do. It's not long, Next though, right? You know, it's not like, oh, it's you like can a do minute it long. long. Oh, it's like a four minute speech. You know, it's like literally like six words and you're married. Yeah. That's all you actually have to do in a whole oh, wedding. But we just you. like drag it on forever. And, wow. yeah. yeah. We just love the beers too much. Yeah, fuck mm. nice, we do, come. Mm. Alrighty Alright dude Well thanks for coming on Good luck with all your content And Thank if you, you want to watch Jashan's shit Jashan on YouTube On Instagram On Facebook On TikTok He feels get around good it. And um, yeah Thank bad, you very man. much For coming on brother <laughs> we Thank you boys it's been a, it's been We'll have a quick Bong break guys And we'll be right back Big, big shits in the garden. And we're back. All right, it's time for Matt. T -t -t Tinder adventures, adventures, adventures. Do we have it? Hit it, Matt. Oh, I don't know which one the Tinder one is. Hit it, Matt. Oh, T-I-N-D-O, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their souls. <laughs> uh, this is a continuation from a um, from a conversation from. Can you explain week. what the Tinder segment is for anyone who's new watching? Uh, right, 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 right. So we've taken over Matt's Tinder. Okay, so this is a Tinder where it looks like Matt's Brown. <coughs> Are you fucking right? <laughs> Sorry. So rude. Well, we've taken over Matt's Tinder. We use his image, all of his pictures, and we speak to these women. They think that they're talking to Matt Brown, but really. It's us, so fuck yeah, we're gonna find him a partner. And we've been sending him s s chicks left, right, and center. I told you about the one who sent a message at like 1 30 a.m. and wanted to come over. And if we had our phones on us, we would have seen that and you could have had sex with her if yeah, you wanted to. I probably would have said no. 1 30 a.m. Yep, that's you know what that means. Wow, yeah, exactly. You're meant exactly. to be finding me love. Yeah, I, that's how it starts. It all starts with a it all call, starts right? with a stab up at cunt and it escalates from there. You fucking cunt. <sighs> All right, here we go. <laughs> and now this conversation, I forget where it led to. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to start midpoint through this conversation and hopefully it's sort of like you guys catch up to speed. So Matt's talking to this girl um, and he's just said to her, um, uh, he's asked her if she can cook. And she says, no, I can't. What can you learn? I love snacks while I game. I, I like when someone cooks for me instead. Oh, fuck, how rude of me. Yeah, of course I would cook for you, my sweet, sweet D. As long as I can lay my eggs in you, I'd do anything. 
What do you mean by lay your eggs in me? I have little love balls that have been handed down through my family generation to generation. It's customary for all Browns to lay their love eggs into their partners. Don't worry, it's nothing weird. Well, it sounds weird to me. Yeah, I can get how it would sound weird, but it's actually beautiful. Not to me. I can't work with it. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not going to give up on us, D. I feel like if something is worth it, you have to fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to do to lower your walls? You can trust me, babe. It's me. Oh. Maddie. <laughs> How can I trust you when the first thing you told me was oh. depositing some whatever eggs in me? You call you calling sperms eggs, lol. You thought I was so naive. Anyway, I don't trust people easily. You have to earn my trust. Oh, <laughs> oh my fucking God, babe. Lol. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No, I did not mean my sperm. <laughs> oh, my God, D. No wonder you've been so standoffish with me. Babe. Oh, stop saying babe. I'm, <laughs> I'm from a part of the world called Quelch. It's a cultural thing. We literally have eggs that we present to potential partners, and if they accepted, accept, that that's a sign that we are committed to seeing each other. Laying my eggs is just how we say it. I'm so sorry. I should have explained myself a bit more. <laughs> I have never heard of that. How comes I can't find like that on the internet? <laughs> you just have to know where to find it. There's even a book about it. It's over an 80-year-old tradition. The eggs are made out of crystallized skin and have cool patterns on them. Have you told any of your friends about us? <laughs> Why should I tell them about us? I don't even know you. Everything you're telling me is strange and sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should change the subject and start taking talking about you. Tell me a secret. No, you tell me about yourself, including your secrets. Oh, okay, wow. Um, you've really put me on the spot here. Um, I don't know. Once I saw my parents having sex and just kind of hid and kept watching, it was kind of beautiful <laughs> to see them express love for each other. <laughs> oh, and once I drank a whole bottle of window cleaner. Your turn. <laughs> and then she unmatched. Oh, 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 oh shit. She made it quite a fair way through, but yeah, she, she put stuck around a for a lot. <laughs> she put up with a lot. All right, next conversation. <clears throat> Mm, cheeky little fucking thing, aren't you? Oh, and, no. and she sends back a smiley face. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then and then Matt goes on with the yeah, fucking you and oh. oh, you're a little rascal and you play by your own fucking little rules. Have you been to jail? And then she hasn't replied oh. to that. Oh. oh. That's horrible. <laughs> that is rough. <laughs> this is <clears throat> okay, this is huge. Here's another one. Matt starts a conversation. <clears throat> I want you to deal with my insecurities. She replied, sure thing. Uh -huh. Move out with me. Easy. Can I have a cat? As long as I can have sex with it sometimes, unmatched. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> All right, Matt starts with the conversation and this chick is like um, showing pictures of her <laughs> on the beach. So Matt starts a conversation. Oh, so you like the beach? I used to go there and eat handfuls of the sand and laugh at people's reaction. <laughs> so how was your weekend? Hey, I don't even remember matching you. I just logged back on. Aww. Yeah, love swimming and the beach. I remember swiping right on you and like fully praying that we would match. Then when we did, I got goosebumps. Hey, <laughs> I even told my mom about you over the weekend. Nothing crazy, <laughs> but just that I'd met someone. She's stoked as shit and shit. Oh. Do you know how to get rid of sore stains? <laughs> what? <laughs> I liked it up until you said you told your mum about me. Just don't wash the item until you get nappy sand spray and spray it on before you wash it, and then it comes out. Oh, wow. Oh, she what? actually gave help. Oh, what, really? <laughs> I don't usually tell mum about girls I'm talking to, only when I think there's a future. She wants to meet you. No pressure or anything, though. I told my mum to fucking relax and shit. We actually had a pretty intense argument about it. Oh, okay, true. I'll try that. <laughs> Most of my work sh shirts have some kind of sauce stain on from my daily lunch pies. I love thick, meaty pies. <laughs> have you ever been to Yadla? There's a pie shop there and it makes my neck stiffen. Yeah, and, then and then she unmatched. <laughs> Dude, I love how you go, shit and shit. Yeah, that is fucking good. <laughs> Just like Matt does. Just like Matt does. Right, Matt, Matt starts See, it's not good because one day I... I might eventually get my Tinder back and I'm going to be like, oh, shit, these people aren't going to match me ever again because, like, I remember that guy. Oh, <laughs> no, man. they won't forget. Yeah, they, they'll you'll stand out, bro. Trust me, bro. It's fucking sick shit. L listen to this conversation and tell me that you won't benefit from this in the future. 
Here we go. I've started moisturizing now. It's made much, such a massive difference to my flaky scalp. How are you? Uh, wonderful news for you. Well done. Oh, I'm pretty good now. My tongue's a bit sore from paddle pops last night, but other than that, great thanks. It's crazy how far technology has come, hey? I remember when I was young, there wasn't as much technology, and now there's like fucking shitloads of technologies, cunt. What are your thoughts about it and shit? <laughs> And she unmatched. <laughs> Shortly after that. Oh my god! Technology's cunt. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the one. I have to go to court this week. Do you like me? What? Why are you going to court? I ripped most of the feathers out of my neighbor's rooster. It looks so fucking funny. Have you ever yeah. done crazy shit like that on benders? I literally always bend her. I'm heaps and heaps of fun and shit. Yeah, okay. Crazy shit on benders is one thing. Being on constant benders is another level of batshit crazy. Oh, just like once a week. Usually Friday to Sunday. And Monday to, my, Monday to Friday, I just smoke shitloads of weed and take antidepressants. You got any hobbies and shit? Yes, of course I have hobbies. Haha. <laughs> I don't consider getting high on weed and lines a hobby though. Well, good luck with court and getting high. Have fun and don't piss off the judge or bring up the plucked cock for evidence. Don't think it will help you. What? No, it was like heaps funny and shit. Heaps of the boys were laughing when I did it. Like it was cool and funny. The neighbor is just a stupid old man with no sense of humor. Oh, you don't party? That's kind of cool. Do you like read and shit or some shit? No, I do party, of course. I'm just saying it's not a hobby. I cannot tell whether you were cracking jokes or not. <laughs> no, the rooster thing is real. But yeah, I get how it sounds like a joke, but it's... It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it was 2 a.m. and I snuck into the cage of my neighbor's backyard and grabbed it by the neck and like plucked most of the feathers out. It looked fucking hilarious by the end. I was literally on my hands and knees crying with laughter, <laughs> watching it flap its naked arms and shit. Caught me on CCTV, T CCTV though. So got any loose stories, cunt? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the, I have to say this girl's name for context. So her name is Jacinta. Okay, so I took this opportunity to call her a cunt, and you'll see why in a second. <clears throat> so you got any loose stories, cunt? Sint. Oh, my God. I meant Sint. Short for Jacinta. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I did not even mean that. I can't believe that just happened. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, geez. It's okay, Mutt. So she changed your name, too. Yeah, it's very good. Intelligence. I mean, Matt, shit. Oh, ho, ho. thank God you see the funny side. Uh, yeah, I sent an email once saying, kind regards, Jacunta. It happens, I guess, so the you and the I are so close to each other. <laughs> well, I'll let you call me mutt dog fut with slag breast for the next two weeks, and we'll call it even. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad I'm not the first one that's done it. So what do you do for work and shit? <laughs> I'm, I am a project program manager. I manage manager project managers basically overseeing heaps of shit happening at the same time oh wow so kind of like a meerkat keeps watch for danger while the other meerkats like work and does their jobs and shit i'm in bridgman downs but i'd be drive down to Cairns to have a date with you and then it gets kind of boring so just wait just wait i'm shocked she's stuck around so far though. dude yeah, like it too. just yeah it just kept going <clears throat> All right, so and then Matt goes on to say she asks <laughs> if he's in. She you are she asks you if you're in a boy band because of one of your pictures. And Matt responds with, <clears throat> "Well, it sounds kind of weird, but do you remember screamo music like hardcore? I mix that and opera together, so it's like scream opera, <laughs> but you have to actually hear it first. Don't try and imagine what it would sounds like yet. It's heaps more beautiful in real life." <clears throat> and then we go on to talk about your scream opera. <laughs> Which is hilarious to me because can you imagine screaming and yeah. opera together? Yeah, it's fucking uh, good. Opera metal. Fusing two types of music together can be so rewarding, but sometimes it doesn't work at all. That's why I've been practicing my scream opera in private mostly until I know it's perfect. I saw a junkie on the way to work. It was so fucking sick. And that's the end of the conversation so far. <coughs> God. I like her, eh? Yeah, I think like she's she cool too. Could you yeah. marry her? No. Okay. Hi, Matt. How's it going? Anna, I want to give you something. <laughs> What's that face mean? It's to, she sent like a like a cringe face emoji. What's that face mean? It looks like the teeth grinding emoji. Uh, just anxious to hear what it is you're wanting to give me. I want to show you where, I'm, where where my mother is buried. We did a home burial because we're on heaps of land, and she asked for it. It's quite a shallow grave, so I can still access her if I'm not if I'm if I'm still grieving. You got any dead? Got a few pets buried in our backyard, but that's about it. 
oh, that's so fresh. <laughs> My mouth is on fire, hey. And that's the end of that conversation. Oh, <laughs> she didn't write back. No, well, look, I that's started so these fresh. I started that's these good. convos last night because I was just so fucked from the weekend. So again, I apologize. These need to be more developed conversations. But that is Matt's attempt this week at trying to find a wife. So well done, that Matt. That wasn't my attempt. It was your attempt. It's kind of like what you would say, though. I would not say any of that. I think you're that. getting somewhere, though. It's getting yeah. there. Yeah. I really don't think I am. It's like, coming along. I think I'm just trapped in this spiral of Marnie and Mark are going to find me a wife, and I just can't get out. Well, yeah, there is one way out. Yeah. Because they absolutely destroy every chance. It's better than no one trying to find you get a wife, there is, though. There is one way out of this mess. What's that? Get married, cunt. Should we just have the bucks anyway and then we'll go from there? Maybe yeah, the bucks right? first. <laughs> Let's do it now. Start off. All right, guys, that's the end of the Tinder Avengers. Let's fucking move right along to the Q&A, everyone. Do we have a jingle for the Q&A? Oh, no, we haven't done it yet. Yeah, we do. Press it. We have questions from your answers. Your questions are all our answers and the answers from your questions from the questions and your answers. These are answers for your questions and these answers for your questions and the questions and your answers. These are answers from your questions. That's exactly right. <laughs> and this is where we answer your questions that you comment on the Money Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you've commented your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to answer, Matt. Those questions from... Fucking <laughs> cunt. Um, first question from Matthew Doxtata. Doxtata? Yeah. Doxtata? Oh, no. What? A recent... Um, Podcast got age restricted. Yeah. Just now. Oh. Was there anything difference we did in that? No, we didn't have any. Um, there wasn't a black book in that. Strange. Oh, wonder what did you talk about suicide or rape in it? Yeah, I think there was one rape joke. Yeah, it was a good rape joke though. Oh, is that why we you guys laughed about it? And I said, "Cut it!" You like not keep it in. Mm. Oh, so he's blaming you guys. Then. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. yeah always. <laughs> I always blame them. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, oh well So please take this opportunity to like, comment and subscribe And give us a 5 star review Because now we're getting age restricted And it's getting harder and harder to grow everybody So it's to pause the video and Please, oh. please help us man mm -hmm. Fucking hell mm -hmm. First mm -hmm. question um, With all the groundbreaking science you've done over the years Do you ever think you'll win a Nobel Prize for it? We have We have one one Have we really? <coughs> I think so well, look, we got to confirm it, but yeah, we may already have done it. We just don't really remember it, but yeah, we've been we've been recognised like for our science work. But you know, it's not really our goal to get awards and all it's, that kind of. It's shit. so lo like it's a bit losery science, a bit. Well, <laughs> no, and and also like we don't, you know, we're not we're not ones to put our trophies all over the walls and say, oh, I'm an esteemed scientist. At the end of the day, we just want to change the world for the better and, and make lives on 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 Earth better. By doing our science, and that's what we're doing, cunt. That's it's science for the people. We're not in the lab like with test tubes and all that dumb shit that doesn't do shit. Shit costs costs you fucking million dollars. We're not fucking petri dishes for crying out loud, mate. Fucking results out of the fucking science that we've done, cunt. We fucking cured world hunger, you dumb it's bitch. So much worse with the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so clear. <laughs> it's crisp. <laughs> oh. oh yeah sorry yeah sorry but yeah science is sort of shit and we've done that <laughs> we've done shit next question is from jose martinez uh what happened to the uh when, what happened when marty fell on his head from the soccer tennis video can you give a bit more context to what happened to you i was so dizzy and just stunned for a while and then started getting like just pain in my neck my anxiety went through the roof and because I was wearing that heart rate monitor shit at the same time so I was just like man I'm so not in the mood to film anymore one second just oh, one second no. imagine if like that like see oh. I like the end mm. I laugh at just that just shit. <laughs> I shit. love it sorry I'm going to say your name wrong again Jashin Joshin. Joshin. I laugh if Joshin just got up and left because he was sick of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's warming on me. I don't mind it. <laughs> it's warmed on him. <laughs> Usually if- It's if, heated the room up. Yeah, it's hot now, isn't it? Mm. 
think it's because um, we're wearing this as well. Fucking hair too. How does people have hair? Yeah, I don't know. This shit's I don't know. so uncomfy and it's hot. hot. <laughs> hot. Um, next question is from TJ Van Ike. Ike? Yeah, I would depend where he's from. Um, this is actually a good question because it relates to our um, our interview. Um, what does a mince puddle actually smell like after all this time? Well, just Sean, you can have a go at trying to describe it. Like, we've had a go. What's... <sighs> How do you, do you describe that? Fuck, it's you like don't... Something <coughs> dead. Something's yeah, dead. Yeah, but like worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like because worse you know what dead. it is. So yeah, it's, so yeah. It's I a think psychological that's element as well. But it doesn't take... Like you don't even make... Get the lid off. Oh, yeah, you just it's twist instant. it a bit. You Oosh. twist the lid and you smell it from across the room. Yeah, like, there's gases that are building up in there from all the little dead bodies. You can see the bottles start to expand and shit. Oh, imagine if that just popped one day. Oh, is that going to blow? <laughs> no, you'd see the plastic swell first. Well, you've yeah. released the pressure over the weekend. So you've yeah, got some exactly. time in it again. We keep releasing the pressure. Sorry. Mm. Um, uh, next question is from Jay. Uh, what happened to Madman Brad? Um, do you still talk to him and would you have him back on the podcast? We never have him back on a podcast. Yeah. Sure. I think yeah, he's a legend. He, fuck, where's he been for years? Now? Yeah, he, he started working for who? Is it Trade Tools? He, mm. did, he was doing content for. I think he might still be doing it. They hired him to do that. I haven't seen him on social media, but I did hear he's recently back on Snapchat. So look him up. Yeah, check and him yeah, out. And yeah, we would. Of course, we get him back. I on miss that fucking guy. Good, good yeah, dog. Good, good follower. Remember the prank he did on his mate? Prank oh, and told prank him he was in call? jail. Yeah, he said he punched a guy in traffic and he think he, oh, he thought he killed him. Oh, that's right. He's mate, guy, was so angry. Yeah, he said he's in jail. Oh, oh yeah. Anyway. Fuck me. Good times, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> this question is, uh, is an older one. I just haven't had a chance to ask it. It's from AJ Spence. Um, will we ever have the uh, the host on, um, on the podcast? I, I can ask. Well. Who's the host? He's just, just this crazy cunt in an orange suit who always tortures Michael. <laughs> okay, that's nice. But um, I heard um, that um, James is organising um, like a little docker, f- docker like the origins of the host on the website. So we'll see how that goes. And if I meet him, I can ask him. So yeah, we'll definitely try and get him on. He's like a mythical creature. You don't really want him on though. He's got a tail. He's got, yeah. I got a fucking Surely tail. He doesn't have a real tail though. Anyway, next fucking question, cunt. <laughs> Don't. Look at that. Uh, next question is from Dylan S. Uh, can we send Matt on speed dating? <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty funny. But if we could film it somehow. It'd have to be filmed because then it would just be And then shit. you have to wear an earpiece and Marty's on the other yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, we're helping oh, you. Oh, yeah. and you... No, oh, that is, <laughs> you're fucking throwing a spanner He's doing all right now. on Twinder. Oh, <laughs> Twinder. <laughs> Twinder. I feel so like Matt would just sit there in silence. I'll be fine and then but it, now you've thrown this element in where he can talk to me and I've got to say what he says that's not Man, fun that would be so fun to do to you too <laughs> what I I just, go on speed dating I'll just talk to people but you have to say what I say <laughs> I swear I haven't how really long sh- speed dating is that like 20 it's like, seconds it's like you a couple of minutes or something oh you get a couple of minutes that's <coughs> yeah. alright uh, next question is from Garrett Michaels. Um, we boys are bring back story time benders for a segment. Well, we kind of do, don't we? Yeah, when, when they happen, they happen. Yeah, when they time. happen, we've we've gone through like a lot of our good bender stories already. And the shit thing is like, man, all the things that have been forgotten. Yeah, yeah. man, there's been just countless fucking good bender stories. Such funny shit happens. The next day, sort of just fade in out of that memory and that week you got. Uh, you don't remember what Dude, last weekend so, happened. Do you know you guys started the reminiscing about stories, overseas ones, and ones and little ones because the old group of friends are there. And about four times I went, God, this is great podcast stuff. And I can't remember any of them. Damn it. Sorry. Sorry. So they're out there. Maybe we should put our fucking skulls together and try and remember. Yeah. Another fuck. 10 because it's an easy shit. It's easy shit to do. Man. Yeah, we've had some good... We've done some work. wild shit, man. Should we do another bender for your birthday? Oh, man. Yeah, maybe. Oh, man, I don't think I could take that, eh? The key to, like, bendering is just don't ever stop. Like, you just never stop that bender and there'll be never a come down. That's true. We shouldn't have stopped that's on how, Sunday. that's how junkies they view the world, isn't it? <laughs> we shouldn't have stopped Sunday and we'd be fine right now. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we were talking about doing, <clears throat> about doing a podcast when we're all in the room. Me and Marty literally looked at me yeah, like, should we, we fire should've. it up? Should we fire it up? Dude, 
Marty's Bucks. <laughs> we'll just call the podcast Marty. That would have gone mm. well. Well, we really got. I started looking at like where or how am I going to get the cameras going, and I started really thinking about it. And then it just, it, I think someone opened the bottle and it just was over. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, next question is from JC Pablo. Um, do you guys still play Tocker? Oh, no, we haven't played oh, Tocker. We, we kind of got too busy and then we got, because we got Esther every second week and like we the podcast would go like nine o'clock and then another night of the week I'd be out playing Tocker till like nine o'clock. <laughs> it wasn't really fair to Mon to just be like, oh, I'm just fucking, I'm going out to play Tocker. You take care of Esther. And so I, started going four nightly and then it, I don't know it just everyone just kind of got too busy but yeah, we I was fucking again. love to start that up again eh? oh and the court issues too they're Your always fucking sweat out. is disgusting yeah I'm quite sweaty oh <laughs> use your own <laughs> fuck <laughs> Lily. <lily-lily. laughs> and um the courts there was always someone at the courts and shit and shit yeah, sometimes was... we left the lights on and shit yeah we got in so much trouble so Greg. much trouble bro next question from Pat Ruiz um uh, any chance of you legends doing a collab with Racka Racka or having them on the podcast? Yeah, we'd love to, but they're fucking busy. They just exploded. Mega in. famous yeah. boys now. Like, yeah, that. We of course we'd love to have them on. And next time they're in Brisbane, maybe. After we destroy them in squash again. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> next question is from the simulator guy. Does Michael have ginger pubes? I'd say like they're strawberry blonde, but not full orange. They're pretty much the same color as this. They're like... Oh, probably halfway on the way to Matt's orange, where he where his, where his black goes to his orange in the center of his beard. It's like in between. So on the cheek of his beard, that's what they are. And what are you, what are your balls? Yeah, what have you got? Brown. Really? Oh yeah, brown balls. Oh, they're dark. They're all dark. What about the hair color? color? <laughs> Do pubes ever go grey? Yeah, yeah, I would, I would yeah. assume. That. Sometimes do. you get like weird white ones. <coughs> Yeah, I'm all brown. Like when you're older, they like just fully just. I still, I still, I still, I've started getting white pubes. Yeah. Yeah. The only place they get red is there. <laughs> uh, next question is from Manuel Salamaron. 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 Depending where he comes from, um, will you get Crackamel to create content with you for some website videos? Yeah, that would be fun. They're just very. They've. They're, it's almost like they're too good at what they do that it would be like. Like, because our website videos, we have to organize them so that's like, all right, we can get this video done in, in this time frame in half a day, and then it'll take fucking like, you know, however many hours to edit. And then, because sometimes a lot of time we're filming two website videos in a day. We got the Cracker Milk crew because they, you know, they film reverse angles. They use really good quality cameras and sound gear. It would take a very long time to film a piece of content with them. But we definitely want to be getting involved with them because look at what they do for the podcast fucking promo video. In a sense, they sort of do do website videos because Elias films them and Goob edits That's true. Them yeah, yeah. So we do get the Cracker Milk boys to, to work, to fucking chip in. Connor does the podcast. Goob does some of our website videos. Elias films for us sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, um. uh, next question from Lucas um, uh, Watching Matt do the, uh, Versus Michael in the mathematics One um, Matt's, Has Matt been sending out The wrong concrete amounts Because his maths is shit uh, He gets a little calculator at work hey? Yeah I just yeah, get a little calculator, calculator. Well, You scream at someone to work it out for you That is one very common issue with concrete Is the wrong amounts either get ordered Or sent out And you have to dump it is it, where do they put it in the oceans? Uh, probably it goes to a, a what ocean center. does Wholesome dump their concrete in? Probably the Atlantic. <laughs> That's fair. It kills whales, don't you know that? Hey, no, it just builds a, a little tower out there in the sea, and then they've got another headquarters. Yeah, they just keep adding like, to they're it. Building a bridge from the bottom near Melbourne all the way to Hobart. Are they? That's got to be a lie. No, that's a good lie. Yeah, because they. I liked that. Part. That was a good lie. How do Between they build- Melbourne and Hobart is like some of those craziest seas in the world. They reckon. How do they? How do they build bridges? Like when they put the poles into the water, wouldn't the cement not set? Oh, I don't know. Right, I, I don't. I, there are there are concrete mixes that are designed to, I guess, survive in the water. I don't know. Well, maybe they make the them. poles first and then put them in the water. They definitely do something. Yeah. <laughs> 
They definitely do do something. <laughs> they definitely do do something. I would assume they drill down um, into the women you know, into the ground that's under the wa- uh, under the water, and they must put like a casing down into it, then concrete through, and then they pull it off, and it's there. I'm assuming, by the way, if somebody knows that, let me know. Yeah, if there's any bridge builders out there, please email us. Email us in. We thought of a segment while we we're on acid. Oh man, we, we're Actually, not going to do it. Maybe Jashan so will be the first to do it. No, nah, because mm. he wouldn't even. I wouldn't fuck do this for Achilles a million brothers. dollars. I wouldn't do this for a million dollars. Got a little cool. bit of line there. Go like that. He definitely wouldn't do it because he wouldn't even do the fuck Murray Achilles brothers. No, I just preferred to do it on you. Feel it? I just, I really didn't. just wait till you hear. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, it's just. <coughs> so, all right, we'll oh, give yeah. you three hundred bucks. You got to call your mum up and tell her you want to fuck her. <laughs> Dude, would you do that? Like three fifty. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. No. yeah. So we, one, the money'd have to be a lot, guys. If there's any of you sick fucks out there that would do that, because we thought of it on acid, and we're like, that would. I know it's fucked up, obviously, but that would be so funny to listen and to. And like, you'd be think of the like <laughs> legend points you get for that because like street cred you'd only get. Only legends do that. Like, and people are really so desperate cool. for money. But then I worry, like, imagine if that relate that changed the relationship with their mum. Yeah, forever. see, we were born in Tasmania, oh, no, so it could go real <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. she might say yes. Launceston. That's why I was talking about the you bridge from they're Launceston? building. Launceston. Yeah, and the my building. family's from Launceston. There. there you go. Oh wow! Really? I'm surprised your last name's not Should Brown. Should we fuck? <laughs> we might have already. <laughs> Probably. Well, have. Yeah. So are you my dad? Are you're from Launceston. Yeah. Are you no from- way. You? What do you mean? You're from Launceston? It's just such a small little town. I just, it's so uh, random. Matt was from Launceston. No, no, no. no I'm not. I'm not from Launceston. But my my grandmother and my mum. Oh, okay. So like my family. We oh, were right. a bridge there from Melbourne. Yeah, that's why I got excited. <laughs> Maybe a tunnel. Um, <laughs> That'd well, there cool. you go. So, all right, a thousand bucks is the highest we'll go. I can't do it. Yeah, eh? yeah. My my mum's too. My mum's too respectful. Y- yeah, it would be like you, you just so shocking to hear your son say, and you have to like convince him. So, if, if you if can you prove think- to us that it's your actual mum yeah. that you'll call somehow, send through uh, to our Instagram or fully actual Instagram. I'm trying to. We think will make this it. happen. Name nah. your price and make sure it's your mum. I think it's a terrible idea. Look, what do you mean? It's fucking it. cool. It's very entertaining. It is fucked up. But if you think it, this could somehow damage the relationship with your mum, please don't do it. Okay? Well, of course, please don't yeah. do it. No, I reckon like man. because like imagine if you know, God, that would just maybe be, the misfit be that boys s- would do it. The seed of doubt, maybe in, in the mum's mind that that her son wants to fuck her now. Oh man. <laughs> It's I guess so you can good. call them back after and be like, oh, it's a joke for yeah, a in that but Then in their mind, they'd still be like, this is like so fucked up. Mm. Matt Brown's I'll do it to, Can we do it for 200 bucks to my dad? Would you do dad? <laughs> <laughs> he, would just, he would just know it's a piss take. Oh, he would really? never take yeah, yeah. I'd be like, He wouldn't yeah, know you, what I'm talking about. Yeah, you have, really, <laughs> have to be really good at acting. Like, look, oh, mom, like, I know this is going to sound just weird as fuck, but like, like, I just have to get it off my chest. Like, Oh, I, I I don't know how else to say this, but like I've been attracted to you for like ten years. I don't know. It's I, I want to go weird. back home, mum. I know it's weird, but <laughs> I just really, really would just want to have sex with you once, mum. Please. I want to return to where I came from. <laughs> oh, please, please, oh, it sounds so just funny, once. wouldn't it? Man, I would pay to watch that. I reckon it. Honestly, man, there's no. I don't think there's any money that I could do that for. Eh? <laughs> it would, man. No money. neither. There is some legend out there that can do that, and then they're fucking. They go down as a hero, do we a legend imagine, for life. Do we, would we get cancelled for that? Is no it podcast. It's their mum podcast pays fans to tell their to tell <laughs> sons to fuck their mothers. Yeah, no, nah, it's too good. It's, well, we'd get fucking. Way, we'd get like, awards it's not for as that. Bad as oh, you just made it daughters to fuck their dads would be even worse. Oh. Oh. Why is that worse? No, because we can do that. It, because it, it, that happens. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> I'm sure it happens the other way too. No, we far just don't less, hear about. There it. would be far less mums that fuck their sons. There'd be far more dads that fuck their 
Yeah. Daughters. Yeah, probably. But that is sexy. This is yeah, a shit conversation. <laughs> 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 this is what I was scared about when coming into this room. Just this sort of shit. <laughs> no, no, I guess that's a good way to end questions. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's the end of questions, everybody. And now it's time for some fucking movie reviews and website reviews. Hit it, Matt. Oh, fuck. Matt's got a movie for Michael to review. Matt's father's name is Greg and Michael would rather be dead. This is Michael's movie reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Who sang that? Oh, it was that your voice? Michael, yeah. yeah, I guess so. It's one of, I've got many. I wear masks every day, Sean. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, this is where Matt gives Michael a movie to review, and Michael reviews it because Matt thinks it's fucking awesome and artistic, and the director's oh, the actor, and Michael reviews it as a normal human being. What was what was the movie, Matt? I was LA, LA Confidential. Confidential. LA Confidential. All right, I haven't ever seen it. I don't Just know watch what the, your hand. I don't know what the fuck that you, is. If you knock that out, we ruin the whole podcast. We start again. Um, so LA Confidential, Michael, what did you think of the storyline? It's okay. <coughs> it's quite old. I found. Or it's nineties. Yeah. See, it felt that. Uh, it's quite a sexy film. It was very sexy. Okay. And um, there was a bit of action. I'd say. What part did you like the most? Probably the chick in it was a good actor. I liked her, the blonde hair. Actress. And um, I found it dragged. It was really, really long, but it was probably top five best films you've given me so far. Oh, I kind of liked it. <laughs> Out of what? There's six of them. <laughs> yeah. And I give it, I'd say all in all, since I watched it with a massive, massive come What was down. your least favorite part of it? It's just like a bit of too much action now and then. It's just fucking boom, too boom, much boom, action. boom, 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 boom. You agree with that, Matt? And, yeah. and um, you didn't watch it all. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I wanted to see if I could lie. He didn't He's so it. disappointed. He, I knew he didn't watch it. I was wanting to see if he could get away with it. And he nearly did. He did. He nearly did. So, he said... Th- you please be careful. Yeah, look, I'm nowhere near it, Colm. You know I know you didn't watch it. It's because there's a blonde girl on the front cover. <laughs> yeah, that's and how... It, and it looks action-y. You could watch a trailer. I didn't even watch a trailer. There are things, <laughs> there's things in it that I just expect you to say, and you didn't. Dude, I, I must say, I've right now I'm still experiencing one of the biggest <laughs> come downs I've ever had. Yeah, sorry and, about our energy levels, and, guys. Um, yesterday was... look. I was, as I said, if there was an off button, I'd fucking press it. I watch um, yours. You don't watch mine. Dude, my, my yeah, that's my like good. 10 minutes long, cunt. Yeah. But so? yeah, fuck, dude. Like, you should. I can't believe it. All right, so LA, You've had Confidential, a week. LA Confidential for next yeah, week. Yeah, I felt weak. I was very weak yesterday, yeah. Well said. <laughs> All right, you didn't get mine then. What? No, come on. I've done more than you. You've only just started up your fucking... Website. <laughs> All right. Well, what so one did you get me to? We review? gave I I gave Matt to watch from our website a video called Australia's Got Talent, which we released in kind of the last two months, and it's a well, Matt, you take it, you explain what it is. So I've never just so you've got a bit of understanding. I've never really, I've never uh, subscribed to their website, and I never really watched their videos. Super unsupportive. I'm, I'm supportive. It's kind just of not, rude. Like we've just, dedicated yeah. our life to helping him find a missus. Um, I may have yeah. watched two videos out of how many like 260 almost 300 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyway so now i've true. watched like three yeah well Four. done all right good. good shit all right um so the it was australian idol australia's got talent australia's actually got talent. sorry so you didn't even watch it did you yeah i did <sighs> okay yeah i did it's raining all right um for uh firstly um Michael is so punchable at the start. <laughs> no, I've, oh yeah, that was a mask. And, I but, which is a, the, I love punchable it. Punchable mask. It was very funny. Uh, it's just so punchable. I loved your acting in it. Um, in that the, was this a real In the interviews. <laughs> it just, yeah, it was very good. And I um, I love the piss take of like, in a, you got talent Australian Idol. You really like you took everything from those shows and brought it in. And that really got me off a bit because it was a very good piss take it because I really hate those shows. So, mm. yeah, that's very good stuff. Um, 
Uh, I'm very upset that you filmed in my toilet, breaking the rules. You have oh, to re- yeah, you true. have to send a request to me oh, before fuck. you go in my room. Um, so once again, we'll have a chat about that offline. <laughs> I think we did too. We'll chat about that offline. But um, yeah, just yeah. That was the worst part of the whole thing. I think because it was the other angle we couldn't get for the Not shot. Not enough room. But see, I would have laughed if you were in the other bathroom, squished in there trying to do that. Um, okay, so that's really going to go against your rating today. Mm-hmm. Understood. So, um, oh, yeah, so I have a rule where they can't go film my room, but they tend to break that every now and then. Okay. Anyway. We're bad boys. Um Get uh, over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James was beautifully dressed. He looked like something out of a, a horror film. Like James a was one killer. of the judges. Uh, he was one of the judges. Uh, the other boys are good too, but yeah, he was he's just well well dressed. Um, uh, I really liked how James. Um, uh, I can't remember now. He, he like you're, you're like talking, and he sort of just cuts you off and just yells at you a bit. I, I enjoyed that. James was like the main judge. The one but then to impress. he's like bipolar and he flips it back to normal and was like really happy with you. Um, and uh, yeah, so I liked your outfit. It was very good. One percenters. Once again, this video had your one percenters and I, I keep talking about it. I know it shits everyone, but they are what makes a, a good video. And again, I don't know. Is this because James is involved? I'm not sure who set no, it just, up. Our videos have just, you've seen There's some an, old ones. Yeah. You've seen some newer ones. There's improvement. And uh, maybe you've been listening. Uh, the one percenters are really good. Um, uh, and um, yeah, the set design of, uh, you know, you got talent. Very cool. Uh, the costumes were great. Um, yeah, yeah, very fucking good. good video. Um, now, what about that event itself? What Michael? Yeah, so things got really upsetting after uh, the introduction of Michael, which probably went a little bit too long, but it was a good setup. Um, <laughs> it got really upsetting. The sandpaper to the chest. So, what was he? Tell everyone what he was attempting to do. Oh, um. So he was uh, um, attempting to six excretions sorry, at once. Yeah. So uh, it was it bleed, cry, shit, piss, vomit, vomit, sneeze. I think and sneeze. All was one more. <laughs> all at the same time. The exact same time. The exact same time. That's crazy. Um. So uh, he sandpapered his chest to bleed, and yeah, I I want you to stop doing that. Holy shit! How did you know I farted? <laughs> I want you to stop doing that. <laughs> okay. I'll stop now fighting. the sandpaper stuff. I want you to stop doing that too. Um, yeah, just uh, it looked actual. It looked really painful. It is. Yeah, it's not on. Hey, like that. Did you not just get like a pin or something and just like? Yeah. Freak. Right. What, yeah, why the same? It need to be like running blood. Yeah. For the That's for fair. the for the record to stand. Then he pierced and shat and. Hang spat. on. Let me fucking get there. Um, um, yeah, so yeah, he, he basically started sculling water and he started vomiting and pissing and shitting all at the same time. By the way, did Coop- you get it? You did all at the same time, mm. Cooper and Ryan and James to hold it together, mm. held it together, did faceless the whole time. Of it. I don't know how you guys did that, mm. maybe it was shot differently. I don't know. And then the smell in that bathroom um, after was fucked. Um, so as impressive as it was that you did all those things at the same time, and I mean, it was fucking impressive that you were able to do that. <laughs> um, it was, I have to say, it was really, really it's disgusting. Be world first. Yeah, it's quite gross. I was gonna say, can you like apply for a world record for that sort of stuff? Yeah, you do. it's quite a process. So yeah, we just yeah, never am fucked enough. Um, it was really disgusting, and my advice to you: um, maybe not do it. Maybe not do the sandpaper again. The rest go for it. But yeah, the, the have biggest it piece out of it. Yeah, night. I reckon that would have been better than pissing in all different spots, just oh. one spot. Mm. Yeah, the but sandpapering is rough. My biggest piece of advice: don't ever show Amber that, because mm. that is horrifying. Mm. Yeah, that's horrifying. That's fair. So overall, um, I, uh, I, I think it was actually a good, considering all the sick shit, I'm not good with the sick shit and it really turns me off. I think I gave it like two, the other one, the shit, but this one was good. Set design's great. Acting was good. The surprisingly everything, it just went really well. And I love the ending where you get rejected. <laughs> so yeah, eight out of 10. Oh, fuck yeah. It was good. Well done. Good, good breakdown, Matt. Good go, breakdown. go us, man. 
Yeah, we're good. Got good videos out there. Put in the comments what you want Matt to review next, everyone. Um, a lot of people said Tim and Calvin. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't um, know what so that we is. Start yeah, with we'll do part Tim one. and Calvin. Part one's pretty shit. But like, it really leads up. You've got to watch the whole saga. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I can watch the whole saga, saga in one go. If yeah. you just give me a bit more, I'll just give it to me earlier. And I'll <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Tim and Calvin. And then you can see our improvement. And like, oh, one percentage, one percentage. And at the end, be like, oh, they are learning as they go. Yeah, fucking can't. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to finish off with a prank call, everybody. A prank call. Can we call one of your brothers and do something? Donald. Yeah, g'day, mate. My name's Darren. Um, can I just speak to the manager real quick? I've got um something to ask. Um, and it's probably a bit weird, but I've just had a talk to my miso, and um, we're thinking about um taking our wedding reception and having um. I know it sounds weird, but have a part of it at um, your your Maccas. So if there's a manager there that I can talk to. Hey, sorry, I just can't quite hear. I'll go to somewhere quieter. Oh, what was that, sir? I can hear you now. So I was just wondering if I can speak to the manager or something. Cause all, um, yeah, yeah, I'm the manager. How can I help? Yeah, mate, cool. Um, look, I've just had a chat to my miss, all right, and um, we're trying to think places um, where we can go to after our um, wedding's done because our wedding's right near your joint. And I was thinking, um, and my miss, I likes the idea too, that maybe we come to Macca's um, for that reception, right, and we could, like, whore it out uh, just, like, um, hour just one hour or something. Everyone get a feed in that, and then we move on to um, proper reception and that. But, yeah, I was just wanting to see if that's possible, that I can hire your Macca's for, like, hour or two or some shit like that. Um, unfortunately, we, like, we don't do... We used to do, like, the party rooms, so but we don't do that anymore. Um, I mean, I'm sure, like, you, you'd be more than welcome to come, obviously, but I'm, I don't think you'd be able to hire out the place for, like, an hour. Yeah, right, really right, right, right. I'm talking but, um, like I'm talking think, like hundred uh, people. Probably try some other stores. Like I think um, Newmarket might still do parties. Yeah, it's I'm just not hundred percent sure. So if you want to try like it's just some that, other stores, you yeah. might be able to hire out like a party room. It's just that my miso like well, that's where we had our first date at the Micho uh, Macas. So like it's kind of like um, meaningful in that. It's got like sen- sentimental in that for us. So that's why I was kind of hoping to get used um, there. And I know you said, like, you don't, like, high venue and that out, but, like, we've got, like, um, I miss those dads, like, um, high up in the mines and that. So we've got a bit of budget for it. So, like, if you name, like, price and shit, like, whatever you make, like, usual that hour and that, like, we could, like, even double it and shit, like, and then um, just, I just think it'd be, like, hectic as if I can come home and one miss and just say, hey, babe, we got the fucking Mitcho Maccas for um, for the start of the reception. Like, I reckon she just fucking, fucking, that'd be fucking sick. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, if we can, I know it's not like protocol and that, but can't you, like, talk to someone higher up or something and just see yeah, what we I can mean, do here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not really the person. I can't really right, make demands right, like that right, or anything. Yeah, but, no, um, I'll see. Yep. Yeah, if right. You, if you called back another time right. when, like, a restaurant manager Yeah, right, working, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. When, no worries. All right. That, I think that'd be tomorrow if you called like yeah, yep. between around like nine and five. Yeah, yep, um, nine and five. Right. Catch them. Yep. But yeah, like like yeah. I said, I can't guarantee anything. Can't I don't. Guarantee it. Yeah, I don't nah. think we do that. Nah, yep. But like you know, it's yeah. worth a try if you want right, to talk right, to them. Right, 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 right. What do you reckon my chances are? But and look, you don't have to give me lock um exact figures and shit. But lock, say lock from like four to five on a Saturday. What do you use like? Yeah. What do you use like? Pull in like unusual from like um, just normal day serving people and that. Cause like if I know that information right, I can come in tomorrow, fucking hard and fucking hit your boss hard with fucking numbers and go, oh you listen here, can't oh fucking you get double, you get fucking double from the hour four to five. My fucking wedding reception, get a bunch of good cunts in there. He's got to make half the food and fucking use fucking make twice the fucking money for that hour. He'd be fucking dumb cunt not to fucking do it. Do you know what I mean? So how much money do you use pull from like a four to five on a Saturday, on a normal Saturday? Yeah, four to five is usually pretty quiet. Right, around, yeah, well, there you go. Sort of time. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, so, yeah, look, I mean, I really don't, I don't want to give you any like false, false nah, hope nah, or look, anything because I really can't. Look, I really I understand. can't. Give no, you you've been tree, nothing like, but, mate. I've got nothing but deep. <laughs> Deep seated respect for what you're saying, brother. Like, I feel like our hearts are like coming together and along. Like, I feel like our spirits are coming together through Australian soil. You and I are connected to be together under the Southern Cross and shit. So, all I need to know is you've got my back. And, like, if your boss talks to you about it, 
you you push it and you say, yeah, mate, I reckon we go for it. Can I get your word no, on no, that? No, no, I, I see what you're saying. I reckon it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah right, right. Been, yeah, it's like our first date. Like, it's our first date that we did there. Like, I, I still remember it like it was fucking, like, yesterday, brother. Like, me and her went to went to the Mitch A. Do you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, it holds fucking, like, sentimental value and shit. Like, fucking hell. Like, you're, like, emotional talking about <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, but look, if if you could if you could just pull in a good word for me, like with your boss and shit tomorrow, I'll fucking call. I'll fucking call that cunt tomorrow, and I'll fucking lay it out, and I'll be like, I'm dropping fucking, I'm dropping ten grand, cunt, for an hour, bro. Do you know what I mean? And 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 then just makes a couple of burgers and a couple of flicks, a couple, a couple of drinks and a couple of tits and shit, and then we'll fuck off for an hour, cunt. Yeah, I see what you're saying. No. Thank, thank you for the call, but yeah, I'd recommend calling tomorrow. And um, if, if you're if you're really serious about it, I'm sure they would they would um, mate, have I'm a good think about it. Dead serious about it, mate. So what time tomorrow? I'll call back same time tomorrow. Is that what you reckon? Yeah, I'll call around. I reckon nine till five. I think that the right. our restaurant manager's working right, right. around eight till four p.m. No worries, mate. Well, maybe you leave a little note and shit and say like. Um, Darren's calling for wedding reception tomorrow. Um, just give him a heads up and shit. And um, yeah, look, we, we'll get there, brother. What's your name, mate? Just so I can say I've chatted to someone about it, just so he don't think I'm like fucking around and that. My name's uh, Jai. No way. So I'll say Jai said, yes, it's definitely an all right, good idea. Um, and he said, just to, just to double check with you. And then fucking, we'll see what he says, eh? Two. All right, thank you. Have a nice no day. No worries, Yeah, bloody good day. You and I are touch the now and our respect will die together as we come together in this great, beautiful land. So look look towards the sun in the morning, brother, because that's what we're here for. Thank you. Goodbye. No worries, brother. I love you. See ya. See you with all my heart. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't hold it. He oh, was laughing off yeah. his head. <laughs> oh. He sounds like such a good dude too. Yeah, dude. Jai is a good dude. Jai is a good guy. He could be a girl. Don't assume genders. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? She always assume genders. Yeah, that's true. Oh man. Oh. Look, fucking that was lovely to listen to. It's always a good time here. Yeah, no, nah, it's great Donaldson. work. It's great work, Man, everybody. Fucking rant. Well done. How you pull that out? Of wedding receptions now. It's like. a good idea. idea. Australian soil and shit. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave us a five-star review. It really fucking helps us, especially because we get age restricted all the time. All right, guys, we're coming back next week. We've got um, we're gonna, we've got another guest on. She's called The Real Wog Wife. She's a Brizzy-based comedian, and she's going to come on for a quick chat. And let me tell you, Matt Brown's really excited about it. Why am I excited about it? Shut up, Matt. I've seen the way you stare at her pictures. So <laughs> go, come back next week to watch Matt stare and be very highly inappropriate and sexual tension as he's pinned to the roof. That's not going to happen. Uh, we'll see about that. Are man. you going to we'll touch her le- leg like you touched mine? Do that to every guest. All right, guys, have a good we're week. We're, we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We'll be back. We're very depressed. We're very depressed. Very depressed. Sorry. We're the best.